Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics. The Man is in D.C., starting to copy Superman. Chapter 101. Chu Mo's eyes revealed a deep color. Just one simple word. It instantly made everyone's back numb. Their president did not hide anything. The reporter who asked the question was extremely scared at this time. The members of Congress saw this scene through their mobile phones. They were stunned. They couldn't even believe the picture in the mobile phone. That's the president. How can he speak like this? Is he still worthy of being the president? After a moment, these members stood up one after another. Their eyes were full of anger. March. Protest. Mobilize all our connections and go to the planet building to protest. Must be fast. He is going to kill me. Good. I have to see. How he kills me. Instantly, countless congressmen immediately organized themselves. Some companies put down their work. They all went to the planet building. Capital from every industry. Bank executives. The rich people on Wall Street. They gathered together with signs. Chumo steps down. Step down. Step down. Accept the trial. Inside the planet building. Mr. President. What is the second thing you want to announce? The reporter continued to ask bravely. Chumo tapped the table with his fingers. The land of Sakura has disregarded the health of all mankind and discharged nuclear wastewater into the sea. I decided to help them purify it. Chumo said and prepared to get up and leave. The reporter hurried forward. Mr. President, how are you going to help them purify it? Chumo turned his head and looked at the camera. Use nuclear weapons to help them purify it. After saying that, he left without even looking back. Mr. President, I have another question, sir. Some reporters wanted to continue asking questions. However, Chumo had no time to deal with them. He went straight into the office. Obama watched Chumo's short video conference. He felt a lot of pressure instantly. Baptism of blood. He now seriously doubted whether the decision to nominate Chumo was right or wrong. Alas. Let's take one step at a time. Obama was very tired. Chumo had completely angered the Congress. They would definitely fight back immediately. Through the window of the planet building, Obama had seen thousands of people gather downstairs. They kept shouting. 26 how long has it been? More people are coming one after another. Chumo steps down. Punish the criminals severely. These people wore expensive clothes and expensive watches. They kept yelling and wanted to rush in. The armed forces tried their best to stop them. The demonstrators even prepared some incendiary bombs to throw at them. The situation was getting worse. Nara looked worried. She looked at Chumo's back and felt sorry for him. Chumo was like a god at that time, saving the whole country. Fighting monsters. But now he is being abandoned by the people. Boss. Nara wanted to go forward to comfort him. Chumo turned around. His face was warm. There was no trace of discomfort. It's okay. He patted Nora's shoulder gently. Dong dong dong. Obama walked in. He looked anxious. President, there are tens of thousands of marchers gathered downstairs. Should we send soldiers to suppress it? No need. Chumo waved his hand. Let the bullets fly for a while. He didn't care. At this time, Sakura country. Yasuda is the highest leader of Sakura country. He looked at the screen. It was the picture of Chumo's speech. Bakayayalu. He is so arrogant. Although we in Sakura country are not as good as them, we are not someone they can bully at will. Yasuda was a little anxious. At this time, a man with a cane stood up. He said he would use a nuclear bomb to help us purify it. I think this is a naked threat. Yasuda glanced at these cabinet members. It's okay, he was just threatening us. Do not be afraid. And I have already taken care of everything with Congress. They have delivered a message. Chumo will definitely step down within three days. Everyone nodded after hearing what Yasuda said. Indeed, this kind of speech is too dangerous and completely beyond the control of Congress. They are definitely unwilling. Downstairs of the planet building, more and more people gathered. The whole street was filled. They shouted for Chumo to step down. The sound of abuse was endless. About there. This farce should end now. Chumo walked downstairs. Obaba, Nora, Clark, and Louise followed behind him. Step down. Step down. Dangerous person. They must step down. They were furious. Some reporters would not miss such a big scene. 
They kept filming and even broadcast it live. At this time, an officer stepped forward. Mr. General, I suggest sending in the army. There are too many people on the other side. We can't hold on any longer. Chumo didn't say anything, but looked at the crowd. There were about 30,000 people. Let all armed soldiers evacuate. I will face them, Chumo said. Instantly, Obaba's eyes flashed with fear. He had a bad answer in his mind. Chumo is here. He came. Commit suicide and make amends. You yellow pig. They cursed even more. The reporters even pointed their cameras at Chumo. Now everyone wanted to know what he would do in this situation. Clark was a little nervous at this time. He also hated these clamoring people. However, the sense of justice in his heart really made him unable to do it. He was also worried that Chumo would take action. But based on his understanding of Chumo, scolding him in front of him would have extremely serious consequences. Chumo glanced at the people in the game. The eye of perspective broke through the layers of obstacles and looked in the direction of the capital. There were many congressmen gathered there. They were watching their own jokes. You know too little about me. If you can restrict me through these, then you can all go. Chumo floated up. Suddenly the scene was completely silent. Does it feel good to curse? He he he. Two thick red lights lit up in Chumo's eyes. Hot eyes shot out. Bang. In an instant, thousands of these marchers died. Ah. The president killed someone. Devil. Run. He, he, he actually dared to kill us directly. The scene turned chaotic in an instant. The reporters were stunned. They couldn't believe their eyes. Chumo killed people directly. This kind of thing has never happened before. Even if a president kills someone, he would hide it for fear that others would know. And the man in the sky, he didn't show it at all. The members of Congress were stunned. They originally thought that Chumo's killing was just a threat. They didn't expect him to really do it. They were silent in an instant. Chumo's fighting power is the strongest on earth. Now he ignores the shackles of the world and takes action directly. This is unacceptable to them. At the entrance of the planet building, Chumo's two thermal visions kept sweeping. Bang, bang, bang. Blood mist exploded one after another. Tens of thousands of marchers died. Some of those who survived by chance fled desperately. They were extremely terrified. As rich people, they came to the parade for the first time. And faced this killer. Mom, I want to go home. I won't dare to do it again. President, please let me go. It was all the congressmen who ordered it. It has nothing to do with me. These people desperately begged for mercy. They kept begging. Chumo simply ignored them. These people must die. Not one will be spared. The body parts were scattered all over the ground, and the bright red blood covered the entire street. The hot blood was steaming. A moment later. Vomit. Ah. Uh. Nala and Louise couldn't stand it and kept vomiting. Obaba felt very uncomfortable. He tried to hold it in. Clark frowned. There were subtle changes in his heart. Chumo now looked like a demon from hell. Tens of thousands of people. He killed them as he said. There was no interrogation, no procedures. Just because they dared to come here to march. Too cruel. All the demonstrators died. Chumo landed slowly. The reporters at the scene trembled. They were very scared. The president took action. And he didn't pamper them at all. Chumo waved to a reporter. He walked over with heavy steps. He didn't even dare to look up. Mr. President. The title changed from Mr. to Mr. Ha ha. It's okay. You didn't march. After hearing Chumo's words, the reporter felt relieved. However, he still didn't dare to look up. Come on. Point the camera at me. I have something to say. Okay, okay. The reporter trembled and pointed the camera at Chumo. E one half I one half I one half however, anyone who dares to resist will be killed, no matter if it is now or in the future. I hope you can understand deeply. You are the ones who begged me to be your president, not me who insisted on doing it. Chumo said and flew away. The congressmen in the capital were in a very heavy mood. They could not think of any way to restrain Chumo. Nuclear weapon. Now it is in Chumo's hands. Army. It is also in his hands. This group of people has no real power except the power of impeachment. He shouldn't be called Chumo. Chu demon. Chumo. Chumo descended at the gate of the capital. When the guards saw it, they were shocked. They all stood up and ran away. They were scared. 
Through the big screen opposite, they understood. What happened there? Now, everybody, I'm going to give you one minute. Come out of the Capitol and give up your identity as a member of Congress, or you will die. Chu Mo's voice was like a huge bell. All the members inside heard it. They didn't dare to delay for a moment. They all ran out. After they came out one by one, they saw Chu Mo standing there. Suddenly, they were silent. Are they all ready? Chu Mo said. All right, all right. Skris knelt down tremblingly. His fear of Chu Mo had reached its peak. Good. Very good. Chu Mo's hot eyes shot out again. Boom. The capital collapsed instantly. He looked at the congressman. His expression was cold. I hope that everyone's resignation will appear in front of my desk tomorrow. After Chu Mo finished speaking, his body soared into the sky and disappeared. After a while, the congressman breathed a sigh of relief. They no longer had a trace of arrogance. In the office of the planet building, Obama stood with a pale face. His eyes were full of fear. The capital was destroyed. He had received the news. Chu Mo really did it. This young man was decisive in killing. He didn't give anyone a chance to breathe. He rebuilt power with the deaths of tens of thousands of people. Now the power of the entire country is concentrated in Chu Mo's hands. Chu Mo glanced at him. He instantly understood Obama's thoughts. He didn't intend to interfere in these regimes. He didn't expect Congress to be so contemptuous. Now start the second plan. 370 Chu Mo spoke slowly. Obama's body trembled. Of course he knew what Chu Mo's second plan was. Use nuclear weapons to help soccer a country purify. But that is nearly 400,000 acres of land and more than 100 million people. Let's start. I hope I will never hear the words, soccer a country, again after today. Chu Mo spoke quietly. Obama wanted to dissuade him, but when he saw Chu Mo's eyes, he swallowed all the words in his heart. Okay. I'll do it. Obama walked out. After a while, he took out a black box. These are all the nuclear weapons in our country. Besides, if we really did this, it may be directly cut off from other countries. Obama still said what was in his mind tactfully. Isolated. Nothing to do. Chu Mo opened the black briefcase. There were only two buttons. Cancel. Launch. Bang. The office door was pushed open. Louise walked in. She looked complicated. She wanted to speak to dissuade him. Chu Mo rolled his eyes at her. I hope you can think before you speak. Instantly, Louise suppressed the inner thoughts that she wanted to express. Alas. She sighed helplessly. Chu Mo killed those people in the parade, she didn't object. But he could attack Sakura country with nuclear bombs. That was a country with hundreds of millions of people. Louise hoped that Chu Mo would be more cautious. But his words made Louise face the reality. She decided not to ask about anything in the future. She had no right or responsibility to ask. Nara walked in. Seeing the awkward scene. Boss. I support you. Even if you destroy the world. Your Nara will never change. Chu Mo's eyes flashed with a gleam of light. Nara's words made him feel much more comfortable. Let's start. I hope we can all participate in this historic moment. Chu Mo said with a smile. Killing so many people at once. He didn't feel any pressure at all. The Sakura country should have perished long ago. He was going to do something that everyone wanted to do but didn't dare to do today. Aren't you discharging nuclear wastewater? Okay, I'll use 100 nuclear bombs to help you purify it. Chu Mo's finger tapped the launch button. He had just pressed it for less than a second. The phone on the table rang. Mr. President, I want to confirm whether to launch a nuclear bomb. A man's voice sounded. Sure. Chu Mo didn't hesitate at all. How many? The man continued to ask. 100. There was silence on the phone for three seconds. He seemed to be shocked too. Received. In the endless Atlantic Ocean. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Countless flames shot up from the water. The destination was none other than the Sakura country. Brilliant fireworks rose from the sea. The huge crack shook the entire earth. Chu Mo looked towards the distant sea. The Sakura country completely disappeared in the universe. The world is finally quiet. Chu Mo murmured. The explosion of 100 nuclear bombs caused a sensation beyond imagination. This kind of news could not be blocked at all. Chu Mo did not think of blocking it. In just two hours. Obama's phone was blown up. 
He answered them one by one. Clark looked at Chu Mo with complicated eyes. Billions of people. He pressed a button and solved them all. Killing gods. Demons. Satan didn't dare to play this way. But he did it. The news on the internet was overwhelming. Everyone was stunned. After Chu Mo became president, he basically didn't show up. Once he showed up, it caused such a it was a shocking situation. Those Sakura people far away in other countries saw their country destroyed. Their eyes were full of sadness. The fire of revenge burned in their chests. That devil destroyed their homes and made them homeless. The hatred of these only Sakura people towards Chumo rose to a terrifying level. The sea area of Sakura country. Within a radius of 10,000 kilometers. Various radiations were flooded. Some fish and shrimps mutated instantly. A huge skeleton hidden in the seabed. After feeling the power of radiation, it flashed a ray of blue light. Louise walked behind Chu Mo. I'm sorry. Chu Mo didn't say anything. He turned his head and looked at her deeply. He didn't say anything. Louise gently hugged Chu Mo's waist from behind. He didn't refuse. Huh. Louise breathed a sigh of relief. The unhappiness between the two of them instantly disappeared with this hug. In a hospital in Lipuwu, Constantine looked at a piece of film held by the doctor. The muscles on his face trembled. Lung cancer in the late stage. He didn't know how he got out of the hospital. He looked at the surrounding plants. He felt very uncomfortable. Lung cancer. Ha ha. Fool. Constantine took out a pack of cigarettes from his pocket. Hesitated for a moment. Bang. The flames burned. Hiss. He took a deep breath and instantly felt much better. I wonder if I will go to hell or heaven. Constantine laughed at himself. He certainly couldn't go to hell. He had imprisoned so many demons that he couldn't even count them. And he had already registered with Satan. He could try heaven. After all, he had a good relationship with Gabriel. And after so many years of dedication, it shouldn't be a big problem. Just as he was about to go to the church, a piece of news on the screen at the door attracted his attention. The Sakura country was attacked by hundreds of nuclear bombs and turned into nothingness. The mastermind behind this is President Chu Mo. Is this a moral decline or a distortion of human nature? Constantine frowned. Destroy the country. That guy is so cruel. He thought of that powerful figure. His body couldn't help but tremble. There was a church in front. Constantine stepped in. Inside the church, a young priest was praying for a girl. Amen. The girl was in her early twenties. She had long blonde hair and fair skin. The moment Constantine saw her, he couldn't help but frown. Psychic. She has a strange power. It seems that she has just awakened. Constantine sat on the sofa and stared at the bonfire in the fireplace in a daze. Ms. Angela. God will forgive your sins. Amen. The priest finished his prayer and looked at Constantine on the sofa. Angela wanted to say something else. The priest waved his hand. She stopped talking. She picked up the police uniform on the sofa and walked out the door. Only Constantine and the priest were left in the church. I want to go to heaven. Constantine picked up a book and said unintentionally. Heaven. Your health is very bad. The priest subconsciously bent his mouth and revealed a wicked smile. Constantine's fingers trembled slightly as he turned the book. There was some fear in his eyes. This is what we agreed upon. I am responsible for capturing the demons from hell in the human world. The condition is that my soul goes to heaven after my death. The priest's black eyes slowly turned golden. A pair of snow-white wings loomed behind him. I'm sorry. I don't feel your faith in God. What? Constantine stared at the priest in front of him. His tone was full of disbelief. Gabriel. This is our treaty. The priest had completely changed in his eyes. Golden hair, tall figure. His eyes were full of mockery. Seraph Gabriel. Sorry, my friend. That's the rule. Only those who believe in God can go to heaven. And you just don't have it. Constantine's eyes were filled with health. How many years. He worked for God and caught countless demons. Now he was about to die. He was told that he could not go to heaven. There was only one way. Go to hell. Thinking of the demons he had sent down. Constantine felt very uncomfortable. For other souls, going to hell might not be a big deal. But he was different. He would face countless tortures. Those guys below even spread the news that when he died, Satan would come to take his soul in person. This kind of ending. 
he could not accept it anyway. The two quarreled in the church. After a while, Constantine walked out of the church in a daze. He took out a cigarette from his trouser pocket. Just as he was about to light it, he suddenly thought of it. He grabbed the cigarette and broke it hard in his hand. I don't believe it, he yelled. Seeing the news in front of him reporting the time of Sakura Country, he was so angry. Planet Building. Chumo was holding a big black book and flipping through it quietly. There were pure dark forces lingering on the book. The crimson power in his body absorbed this dark force and gradually grew stronger. As he turned the pages faster, his eyes gradually turned pure black. The crimson power in Chumo's body was originally at the peak of the father level. After absorbing the power of the Dark God book, the magic power continued to grow. In an instant, it broke through to the half-step universe level. The Dark God book seemed to have a great attraction. He couldn't bear to stop. It was filled with all kinds of magic. There were also some taboo methods. In the void, a stream of consciousness called him. Chumo rejected them one by one. He knew that some dark masters felt his breath. Wanted to descend through his body. Suddenly, an ancient voice sounded in his mind. Chumo frowned. He had rejected this voice three times. However, unlike other voices, other voices would disappear directly after they were rejected. And this voice became stronger and stronger. My servant, you have awakened. I am your supreme master. Accept me, and everything in the world will be yours. Chumo ignored him. Are you kidding? You can tell from the sound of this thing that it is not a good thing. I just used the dark book to increase the crimson power in my body. It will be almost half an hour later. As he absorbed more dark power, his heart was filled with a violent emotion. The killing and desire kept stimulating his heart. The supreme dark hell. Exosong frowned. He clearly felt the carrier of the crimson power. No matter how he called, the other party just ignored him. And the other party wanted to separate him from a thick barrier. No matter what, he couldn't break through. Where on earth is he? Exosong really couldn't figure it out. The carrier progressed very fast. It was only a month since he awakened. The other party had already grown to the half-step universe level. This speed of advancement made him slightly stunned. Of course, this strength. Exosong didn't take it seriously. But the carrier seemed to have exceeded his control. This feeling was extremely bad. There was another question that puzzled him. There was another carrier in the 616 universe. That carrier was very weak. Almost just entered the sub-sky level. Exosong had ignored it directly. But the appearance of the two carriers made him confused. That was the scarlet power, chaos magic. It was not the rotten cabbage on the street. It had the same origin as the supreme dark power in his body. Exosong felt it necessary to clarify. But now he couldn't go to that universe. He could only send some brothers. And his brothers were basically single universe level. Dormammu. Sithoan thought about it and decided to send him there. It's not because Sithoan values him very much. It's just because Dormammu is closest to that universe. And I heard that he seemed to have been injured there. He has always coveted the 616 universe. Dormammu. Sithan called directly. In the dark dimension, a huge body loomed. Who is calling me? Dormammu hesitated. Can't you recognize my voice? Or has the years made you dull? Sithan said with a superior attitude. Huh. Dormammu reacted instantly. The supreme god of darkness. Sithan. Oh my god. Why is he calling me? Dormammu didn't have time to think about it. He immediately greeted him with a bunch of flattery. The great supreme ruler, an existence that transcends the multiverse. In the creation of time. The master of eternal darkness. These flattering words made Exosong's ears calloused. But he still enjoyed it very much. Dormammu. There is a mission for you now. Sithan said quietly. My lord. It is my honor. Dormammu is like a loyal servant. Invade the 616 universe. Sithan had just finished speaking. Dormammu was stunned. What kind of mission is this? He has been invading the 616 universe. But he has not succeeded yet. Can the invasion be successful within one day? Sithorn gave the order. Ah. Dormammu felt that it was necessary to explain it to him. This high and mighty god of the underworld seemed to have some misunderstanding of the grassroots. My lord. I also want to invade right now. However, the rules limit me. Without summoning. 
I can't enter that universe either. Zithorn was choked. You are a single universe level, and you can still be restricted by the rules. He was a little surprised. Dormammu is already a weakling. With such strength, he can still be restricted. I am not kidding. Yes. It is indeed restricted by the rules. Dormammu was also very helpless. Logically speaking, the strongest person in the universe is only at the peak of the father level. It is possible that he can reach the half-step universe level. But the rules are really rigid. Without a special summon, he can't get in at all. Okay. Sithan was also very speechless. He immediately cut off the connection with him. Dormammu stared at the dark void in a trance. Why did Sithan want to invade the 616 universe? That person would not do it early without profit. Just when he was still thinking. Suddenly, a voice sounded. Great Lord of Darkness, I am your loyal servant Calisio. I just rejected Sithan. Someone in the 616 universe is calling me. Dormammu was shocked. In the 600th world. In hell. Lucifer was sitting on his face and was very excited. He couldn't stop his excitement. Pure dark power. As the Lord of Hell, he felt a pure dark power looming in the human world. That power was very pure. It attracted him deeply. He always wanted to attack the human world. However, his strength was too strong and he was subject to too many restrictions. With his current strength, he could only exert one ten thousandth of his strength at most. I one half I one half I one half but if he could seize the supreme dark power, he could come with 100% strength. At the very least, he could come with 50% strength. Ha ha. That's enough. Satan couldn't help laughing. He must get that power. And the coordinates have been found. In Gotham City. He stood up and glanced at his sons around him. Where is Mammon? Some demons were silent. Satan didn't care too much. He must have gone to play in the hell playground. Report. A two-headed demon from hell came over. Satan looked over. Master, there is news from the human world. Constantine is dying. He is planning to go to heaven after his death. Satan could no longer stop smiling on his face. Constantine. A very interesting soul. Double happiness. Then his body disappeared. Earth. Hawaii. A middle-aged man in a white suit was lying on the balcony quietly basking in the sun. Suddenly, a black smoke entered his nose. Huh. He suddenly opened his eyes. His pupils were all black. The smell of humans. So wonderful. Ah. A young woman next to him screamed. Phil. What's wrong with you, Phil? The young woman kept calling out. Seeing the man become so strange. She was extremely scared. He he. I'm fine. The man immediately pounced on the woman. With his hands, he tore her naked. Phil. No. What are you doing? The man licked his lips. I haven't eaten meat for a long time. Ha ha ha. The woman went from refusing at first to agreeing. Her brain lost everything. Only the most primitive desire remained. Waves of original sin filled the air. After a moment, the man stood up. The woman had turned from middle-aged to an old woman. Gotham City, here I come. The man's body disappeared. In the office of the planet building. Chumo put away the dark book. He silently felt the changes in his body. The crimson power completely broke through the barrier and entered the single universe level. This is just the fur of the dark book. And the dark power inside is endless. No matter how much he absorbs, it is just a drop in the ocean. There are too many pools. The only side effect is that when he absorbs, the desire in his heart keeps rolling. It would be nice if there were no side effects. Chumo murmured. Suddenly, he stood up and looked up at the ceiling. A black hexagonal star pattern instantly appeared on the ceiling. A middle-aged man in a white suit slowly descended. Chumo frowned. His eyes were full of vigilance. The man in the white suit had mud on his feet. A little bit of dirt was coming out of his body. He looked very familiar. Chumo vaguely saw him somewhere. After a little thought, he reacted. Isn't this Satan from Hellblazer? What is he doing here? The devil knocked on the door, and it was definitely not to bring him dinner. Hiss. Satan took a deep breath. Such pure dark power. I smell the presence of evil. Chumo was full of disgust. The power fluctuations in his body were at the peak of the father heaven level. There was no problem in killing him. Satan's mouth was curved, and his fiery eyes stared at the handsome man in front of him. You caused it. 
He hadn't finished speaking when suddenly his eyes blurred and he appeared in the cold starry sky. What? What's going on? Satan was shocked. The moment he descended, he didn't find any power fluctuations on the man. How could he appear in the starry sky all of a sudden? And he was even carried by him. The planet building. That was his home base. Starting a war there would have too much impact. What if Nora and Louise were affected? Some things would be unpredictable. Satan. Chumo said. Ang. Satan was a little slow to react. This speed was too scary. And this body only had one ten thousandth of his own strength. But it was also at the peak of the father level. Being brought here like this. It was too humiliating. But he had no choice. The man in front of him gave him a very dangerous feeling. What are you doing here? Chumo stared into his eyes. It's okay. I came out for a walk after eating. Satan didn't dare to say that he came to find the power of darkness. Take a walk. Chumo pondered. Okay. I want to take a walk too. A stream of red liquid appeared in his body. The red liquid instantly turned into a cloak. It was shining with colorful light. But the red light was the brightest. A dazzling white energy condensed in his palm. It turned into a cage. It instantly enveloped Satan. The power of light. Satan's heart skipped a beat. Then the boundless burning power emanated from the prisoner car. Ah. White smoke was coming out of his whole body. A heart-wrenching pain rose from the bottom of his heart. Who are you? How can you possess the power of light? Satan screamed continuously. Chumo did not speak. 047 observed Satan in the cage. After the liquid absorbed the twilight sword, it evolved again. But the ability to control various elements did not change. Chumo decided to torture him slowly. Satan came to him for a reason. However, the light energy he controlled was also at the peak of the father level. It was just the same as Satan now. He kept wailing. In an instant, the body in the white suit could no longer bear it. Bang. The body exploded. A figure with two feet on its head and two wings on its back appeared. The fire of hell burned around him. His scarlet eyes were full of evil and cruelty. Ah. The fire of hell gathered in both fists. The power of darkness permeated and confronted the cage formed by the power of light. Bang. The cage broke. Satan stared at the man in front of him. Lowly ant. Do you know you are courting death? Satan spoke slowly. What greeted him was thunder all over the sky. Boom. The power of thunder condensed and turned into a huge spear. It rushed down from Satan's head. Ah. Satan howled again. The power of thunder and the power of light are both the nemesis of darkness. Satan's red wings tightly protected his body. Thunder flashed. The dark wings could not withstand this destructive force. After a while, his wings became tattered. The severe pain almost made him faint. If he could have more power, he would tear the man in front of him to pieces. Fortunately, the power that this man burst out was also at the peak of the father level. If it was a single universe level, Satan would run away immediately. The power of thunder dissipated. There was some fear in Satan's eyes. Who is he? Why have I never heard of it? When did such a person appear in the world? Chumo just looked at him quietly. He kept nodding. Well, not bad. The power of hell is pretty good. But it's too weak. This shouldn't be the case. Satan, the lord of hell, is a rival to God. How come you are like a worthless chicken? Chumo did not hide his true feelings at all and kept commenting. Satan was so angry that his lungs were about to explode. This human being looked down on him so much. Ah. A hellfire gathered in his hands and instantly attacked Chumo. Yo. Playing with fire. Chumo curled his lips. Very disdainful. Out. Instantly, a huge river appeared in the starry sky. Humph. This is the fire of hell. Not just any water can put it out. The water enveloped Satan's body. The sound of the. Congeal. Instantly, the water condensed and turned into a huge piece of ice. Satan was frozen inside. His eyes were full of fear. Hellfire. Bah. What the hell? Chumo threw a punch. Bang. The ice shattered. The punch hit Satan's face hard. Poof. A mouthful of blood spurted out. Mixed in the blood were a few devil teeth. Satan felt dizzy. What's the situation? He is now confused. This punch made him doubt his life. For countless years, he even forgot the feeling of pain. Today, he really experienced it again. I will tear you apart. Satan was extremely furious. 
The Lord of Hell, the feared existence of all things, the rival of God. How could he bear being beaten up like this by a stranger? Even if I have to pay a huge price, I will kill you. Satan reached out and thrust his hand into his chest fiercely. In his palm, a red heart was pulled out. A trace of reluctance flashed in his eyes. After today, he would have to find a body in the world again. But it was all worth it. This man must die. He clenched his five fingers tightly. Bang. The heart turned into a ball of blood mist. Chumo watched quietly and did not interrupt him. It was not easy to meet Satan once. No matter what, he had to have fun. He couldn't come here in vain. After Satan's heart exploded, the blood mist formed a huge hexagonal star array. A huge figure was looming behind him. The fire of hell was burning in the back. Countless souls crawled at his feet and trembled. The figure revealed a trace of breath. In an instant, the whole starry sky seemed to be suspended. Time stopped, and space was broken. That was the master of hell, the king of all things. An extremely evil existence. The desire of original sin is staring in its eyes. All things wither, time and space are destroyed. Satan, Lucifer, the lord of hell. Chumo's eyes were full of solemnity. That figure was too strong. It was beyond his imagination. But why is Satan in front of him so weak? He must have some restrictions. Otherwise, he would have appeared to kill him at the first opportunity. A ray of black light was transmitted through the hexagonal star array. Satan took a deep breath. The breath of his body instantly increased. He suddenly stepped into the single universe level. Boom. The hexagonal star array shattered. The figure disappeared. Human. You have completely pissed me off. The task was not accomplished, and an avatar was lost. Satan was extremely angry. Rage filled his chest. The damage to his body was instantly healed. A red sword condensed out. The sword swung, and the void shattered. The blade burned with the fire of hell, and it slashed towards Chumo fiercely. Interesting. Chumo's eyes exuded a strong fighting spirit. The cloak behind him turned into a round shield. Bang. The two strong forces collided. Meteorites shattered in the infinite starry sky. Waves of air burst out. Distant stars trembled uncontrollably. Single universe level. Satan was shocked. He thought this man was at the peak of heavenly father level. You underestimated him. The sword was above the shield. The two sides were equally matched. Neither could do anything. Come, come. Chumo shouted. The shield in his hand pushed forward. Satan took a step back. So strong. Satan's heart was shocked. The opponent was too strong. He immediately gave up interrupting the battle, retracted his sword, and prepared to return to hell. Chumo could not do as he wished. The crimson power spread out and instantly wrapped around Satan's body. Break it for me. Ah. A huge pulling force came. Scylla. The wings behind him shattered instantly. The intense pain made his body tremble. His eyes were filled with fear. What is this red power? Satan was completely dumbfounded. Before he could think about it, the crimson power continued to gather. Bang, bang, bang. His body kept exploding. Holes appeared one after another. Chumo opened fire at full power. The crimson power burst out. Satan was very passive for a moment. His body kept breaking and condensing. Although he did not suffer fatal injuries, the pain was indeed very clear. Satan struggled violently. But the crimson power was like a dog skin plaster. No matter how hard he tried, he could not shake it. Burn. The fire of original sin. Satan shouted. Suddenly, black flames burned on his body. Zzzz. The moment the black original sin fire came into contact with the crimson power, it was like pouring a basin of cold water into a boiling oil pan. After a moment, Satan Ninja felt a sharp pain, and the crimson power was completely expelled. He quickly distanced himself from Chumo. His eyes were full of disbelief. So what is the power of red? It can actually fight against the fire of original sin. His hair was numb. Satan lived for countless years. In order to obtain the same power as God, he did not hesitate to throw himself into darkness. For that kind of supreme energy. He succeeded. From an angel, he became the Lord of Hell. He had the ability to wrestle with God. But now, another supreme energy appeared. He was stunned. Who are you? Satan couldn't help but ask. It turned out that no matter what means Chumo used, he never took it seriously. 
but now the energy level on the other side was comparable to his. He couldn't help but look at it squarely. I am your father. Chu Mo shouted. He appeared behind Satan. The infinite power of fire gathered in his hands. He grabbed his rhino horn and broke it hard. Crack. The rhino horn on Satan's head fell off. Ah. The horn that symbolizes the kingship of hell was broken. In addition to the great humiliation, there was also deep pain. I won't let you go. Wait until my demonic body descends upon the earth. It's time for you to pay with your life. Satan flew up instantly. He kept making seals with his hands. In the blink of an eye, a huge portal appeared. He didn't dare to stop for a moment. He disappeared into the starry sky instantly. Ran away. Chumo shrugged helplessly. He hadn't even started yet. The other party had already fled for his life. The truth is boring. Chumo took a look at the broken horn in his hand. Satan's message appeared before his eyes. Name, Satan, Lucifer. Identity, Lord of Hell, Fallen Angel. Strength, Early Platinum Level. Abilities, Fire of Original Sin, Image Projection, Soul Harvest, Possession. Weaknesses, Power of Light, Power of Thunder. Weapons, Eternal Scepter, Hell Blade. Status, Doppelganger. Copy time, 1 minute. Do you want to start copying? Yes, no. Chumo curled his lips. To be honest, he really looked down on Satan's clone. From the moment he appeared, he was suppressed by him. And the clone only had these few abilities. It was really a bit rubbish. And his original body was what made people envious. It was just a phantom, but the powerful aura it exuded was the strongest existence Chumo had ever seen. Wait, there will be a chance. Chumo took a look at the broken horn in his hand. Even a mosquito leg is meat. He took it. Start copying. After a while, the system's voice came. Ding, copy successful. Ding, congratulations on obtaining the platinum level hell power. Ding, congratulations on obtaining the fire of original sin. Ding, congratulations on getting influence projection. Ding, congratulations on obtaining the soul harvest. Ding, congratulations on your possession. Chu Mo's body was instantly filled with the power of hell. It was also a single universe level. The power of his body became particularly strong. Multiple powers were superimposed on each other. He now had a directness. He could blow up a star with one punch. Surtur's single universe level flame power plus Satan's power. The power of his body surpassed any previous. Not bad. Chumo nodded with satisfaction. He headed towards the earth. In the office of the planet building. Chumo looked at the horn in his hand. Then he glanced at the table. There was no decoration. Then he placed the half horn in front of him. Well, not bad. He was very satisfied. He even thought about collecting some spoils when fighting other enemies in the future. Boom boom boom. Come in. Nora walked over with her hips twisted. Boss. There are two vixens downstairs looking for you. Nala said reluctantly. Vixen. Chumo was slightly stunned. His eyes of perspective penetrated through the layers of obstacles and looked downstairs. One person had red hair. Tall figure, and rippling white skin. It was Mara. The other person's body exuded the charm of a mature woman. A strange style was revealed in her gestures. Queen Nami. Please come up quickly. Chumo's eyes were a little anxious. Nara rolled her eyes and didn't move. Huh. Chumo was a little confused. Why is Nara, who has always been obedient, like this now? Boss, you haven't fed me for two days. Ah. Uh, Chumo was speechless. Okay. He could only cooperate passively. Nara skillfully hung the sign at the door of the office. I'm working, please don't disturb me. Dear boss, here I come. Nala rushed over directly. Mara and Queen Nami were waiting anxiously downstairs. It's been so long. He's really arrogant. Mara was a little annoyed. Alas, what can we do? We are here to ask for something. Wait. Queen Nami was also very helpless. She had no other choice but to wait for Chumo to finish his work. Another hour passed. The patience of the two was almost exhausted. A graceful figure slowly walked over. Go up. The president is waiting for you. Nora glanced at the two queens. Her eyes were full of hostility. Mara was very puzzled. Why does this woman have such a big opinion about them? And what is that in her corner? How unkempt. Queen Nara pulled the corner of Mila's clothes. The two went upstairs. In the office. 
In the office, Chumo tidied his clothes. He took out another bottle of perfume and sprayed it. Some strange smells in the room dissipated faintly. The two future wives are coming. External image is very important. Boom boom boom. Come in. Mara and Queen Nami walked in. As soon as they entered the door. Queen Nami frowned deeply. The sea people are naturally sensitive to smells. And in Chu Mo's office, a mysterious smell lingered for a long time. From the experience of those who have experienced it, it was the smell after the battle between men and women. Mara didn't think much and blurted out. What's that smell? Instantly, the scene was awkward. Nara's face instantly became hot. Chumo was also a little embarrassed. 390. Queen Nami raised her eyebrows. No one spoke. After a moment. Sit down. Chumo touched his forehead. The two women sat down. Queen Nami looked at Chumo for a while. She felt very helpless. This man, her future partner, his private life is really messy. Alas, we must speed up. I have my own secret recipe. As long as this man tastes it. Make sure he never has any thoughts about other women again. And Mara is one of the competitors. Chumo looked at the two of them. What's the matter with you two coming from afar? After hearing Chumo's words, Mila was silent for a moment and slowly spoke. What a good thing you did. Something strange has happened in the sea. Huh. Chumo didn't understand. Speak clearly. Queen Nami looked at him deeply. A few days ago, a strange beast awakened under the endless sea. We have been exploring continuously. It was discovered that those ancient sea beasts had mutated. And. Mara rolled her eyes. Nami. No need to beat around the bush with him. It's those weapons you fired. The explosion produced a very strong radiation force. Some ancient giant beasts have all mutated now. After she finished speaking, she took out a few photos and put them on the table. Chumo picked them up and looked at them quietly. His brows frowned instantly. In the photo, a huge monster howled at the sky. Its whole body was gray-brown. A bone spur protruded from its back. Godzilla. The two women looked at each other. What is Godzilla? Chumo did not answer, but looked at the second photo of his father. It was a monster with a dragon head and a bird body, and wings on its back. Three heads, all of which were dragon heads. Surrounded by yellow lightning. A kingly power emanated from it. Ghidorah. Chumo murmured. He slowly put down the two photos. It seems that the power caused by 100 nuclear bombs is far beyond his imagination. Although it destroyed the Sakura country, the series of impacts it caused are huge. He still doesn't know enough about this world. I'm responsible for this time. Chumo put down the photo. Looking at the two women, he said quietly. Huh. Queen Nami was relieved after hearing Chumo's words. Mara also breathed a sigh of relief. Now in the endless sea, all kinds of monsters are rampant. They have no way to. Clark. Chumo shouted. The office door was pushed open. Chowzi walked in. Chumo glanced at him. You go help them take out some fools. Okay. Clark didn't know what the mission was. Since it was Chumo's order, he just did it. And there were two beauties accompanying him. It must be easy. Maybe he could even find a girlfriend. Chumo instantly knew his little thoughts. These two will be your future second aunts. Put away your unhealthy thoughts. Ah. Uh, Clark was speechless. He shouted in his heart. Alas. It seems that I will be single for a while. Mara and Queen Nami blushed when they heard Chumo's words. Get out. By the way, this mission is completed. The salary will be doubled. Chumo said. In an instant, Clark's eyes were full of shock. The salary doubled. Every month is 20,000 US dollars. His breathing suddenly became rapid. Don't worry, uncle. I guarantee to complete the task. Go. Clark pushed the door open and walked out. Mara glanced at the disappeared Clark. He felt a little unsure. Are you sure he can do it? Queen Nami was also a little confused. That guy looked like an ordinary person. Why would Chumo send him? Don't worry. It shouldn't be a big problem. Chumo said confidently. All right then. Mara was about to get up and leave. Hey. Why are you in such a hurry to leave? Chumo smiled. Why don't you leave? Stay for dinner. Queen Nami said jokingly. Sure. Let's have a meal. Chumo didn't care. No. I have something urgent to deal with. You stay here. Mara glanced at Queen Nami. 
How could she not understand that the longer she stayed here, the greater the chance of losing her virginity? A trace of disappointment flashed in Chu Mo's eyes. Oh well. You go first, I have something to discuss with Queen Nami. After hearing this, Mara went out quickly. Her speed was so fast that Queen Nami was amazed. Selling out your teammates' stuff. Nami cursed inwardly. Let's go too. Chu Mo extended his hand and invited. Nami looked at Chu Mo deeply. She didn't refuse. She extended her slender palm and the two of them went out. In the endless starry sky. Swoosh. Two figures stopped and stood. Chu Mo waved his palm. A transparent barrier condensed around Queen Nami. She looked up at the endless universe. The Milky Way was destroyed, and meteors streaked across. For a moment, she was a little dazed. Even though she had lived in the endless sea since she was a child, watching the ebb and flow of the tide. She had never seen such a scene. No woman could refuse the romance of a meteor. There was no conversation that night. Under the starry sky, Queen Nami was shining. She stood in the galaxy, like a fairy who had fallen into the mortal world. Chumo couldn't help but be in a trance. A woman who had been married twice was still so charming. Beauty is a disaster. Chumo couldn't help but smack his lips. Queen Nami looked at Chumo. An invisible tacit understanding was instantly formed. The Milky Way was their blanket. The two of them didn't say a word all night. The next morning, Chumo woke up early. Looking at Queen Nami in his arms, he felt extremely satisfied. She closed her eyes slightly. Her eyebrows trembled. Her face blushed. It looks like she's awake. Pretending to sleep. Chumo did not expose her. Everything that happened last night was like a dream. Queen Nami surprised him. She was so powerful that Chumo could not even resist. This woman's charm was unique. He even wanted to keep Queen Nami by his side. No man could resist her madness. After a while, Queen Nami slowly opened her eyes. She playfully kissed Chumo and quickly left his arms. In no time, she put on her clothes. I'm leaving, you little rascal. Queen Nami went out. Chumo didn't try to stop her. Looking at her back, he felt a little disappointed. Alas, Aquaman, I really have become your father. He looked down at his wrist. Asgard 12 hours, 42 minutes, 31 seconds. One day later, the next crossing is coming. I don't know what the task is. Chumo has some expectations in his heart. The rewards from the system in these crossings are very large. Perfect nemesis gene, anti-life equation, mysterious mother box, dark book. In the endless sea, Clark floated in the air. His eyes flashed with nervousness. Is this the loser uncle was talking about? His body trembled, looking at the huge monster in front of him in disbelief. It had three heads, all dragon heads. It had wings on its back. When it opened its mouth, a huge ball of destructive thunder came out. Clark's heat vision fought against it. Unexpectedly, it couldn't resist it. He tried hard and finally broke off a head. Unexpectedly, another one grew out in the blink of an eye. Bang! Clark dodged the lightning attack. He flew forward and punched him hard on the neck. Bang. Ghidorah wailed. The three dragon heads stared at the tiny human. They opened their mouths and struck again with thunder. This time, Clark did not dodge. The mighty thunder force instantly enveloped him. The power of destruction rushes straight into my heart. Ah. The intense pain made him scream. In the distance, Mara looked at the figure with a broken back. She was speechless. Chumo is too much. It's too perfunctory to let this kind of loser deal with monsters. Aquaman glanced at Superman. His neck couldn't help shrinking. This is called a loser. He couldn't help but glance at Mara. If that man is called a loser, then he is not even a loser. At this time, a beautiful figure walked over. Mother. Aquaman spoke. Mara glanced at Queen Nami. A tacit understanding that only women could understand was formed instantly. She's even smoother. Mara's eyes showed envy. Haven't you finished yet? Queen Nami glanced at the figure in the distance. She couldn't help but frowned. Chumo is too much. Sending out such a thing. He is no match for the monster at all. Mara was a little angry. It's okay, it's okay. Queen Nami's expression was very calm. She took out a phone from her pocket and dialed. Yes. Hello. Please transfer to Mr. President. Just say Nami is looking for him. Her actions made Mara and Aquaman's eyelids jump. 
When can they find Chumo like this? Mara gradually had an answer in her mind. The call was connected. Queen Nami's voice became very coquettish. Can you come over for a while? I miss you. What monster? I just miss you. Queen Nami continued to use her big move. Aquaman felt very uncomfortable. Alas. I have another father. Mara felt a little regretful. Was she wrong? A few seconds later, a figure flew over from the horizon. Missed me so soon, baby. Familiar voice. Familiar formula. The fastest man in the world. The Sea King looked at Chumo and exclaimed sincerely. Chumo rolled his eyes at him. You are the fastest man in the world, and so are your whole family. If it weren't for Queen Nami's face. According to Chumo's little thoughts. With the words of the Sea King, he would have been beaten up. Queen Nami and Chumo broke the window paper relationship. She didn't hide anything. She stepped forward and hugged his neck. Look, my nephew seems to be a little overwhelmed. Chumo looked over. The scene of the battle made him frown slightly. Alas, Chaozi is only embarrassing himself. You can't even solve this. He flashed out of the battlefield in an instant. Clark saw Chumo coming. He finally breathed a sigh of relief. The strength of this monster was beyond his imagination. Second uncle, be careful. The other party is not easy to deal with. Chumo did not speak. He closed his eyes. King Ghidorah's three dragon heads stared at the human in front of him. Three yellow thunders gushed out of his mouth. Chumo did not even look at it. He pointed a finger at the arrogant King Ghidorah. In an instant, a strong wind blew on the sea. Countless sea water floated and condensed, turning into a huge water sword that rushed straight forward. The water sword carried the power of destruction 1.2 and slammed forward fiercely. Bang! The moment the yellow lightning collided with the water sword, it was instantly integrated into it. The waves rolled. Ghidorah's eyes flashed with fear. It wanted to get up and leave. One fist hit one of its dragon heads hard. Bang! The dragon head exploded. In the blink of an eye, its neck moved. A new dragon head grew out again. And it was even more powerful. Roar. It just made a sound. Another punch greeted it. Bang. 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 Three explosions sounded. Ghidorah's dragon head exploded. After a moment, it grew back. Chumo secretly observed. No wonder Chaozi can't beat him. King Ghidorah's combat power has grown to the level of God. If I don't come, it will definitely cause unimaginable consequences. But Chumo also had some other thoughts. If this kind of monster can be taken as a mount, it will definitely be very cool to go out. And there are too many women around him. It can also play a protective role. He has a large number of nuclear weapons. It can also promote its evolution. Chumo has no means to subdue the mount. But he knows one thing. These monsters can only be beaten. Just beat it until it surrenders. Chumo waved his fists. Each blow controlled the subtle force. After a while, King Ghidorah's dragon head gradually lowered. The man in front of it made it very scared. It even wanted to surrender to him. But the man didn't care at all. He kept punching the flesh. The tearing pain made it howl. Whoa AI one quarter. In the endless sea in the distance, another huge monster rushed towards him at high speed. Chumo's eyes lit up with surprise. He had his own mount for land, water and air. Godzilla. Ghidorah. The two monsters actually formed an alliance. Chumo was stunned for a moment. What kind of operation is this? Godzilla's huge body shook the sea water. Huge waves tens of meters high flew up. Roar. Godzilla's dorsal fin lit up with a blue light. Boom. A ray of destructive light gushed out. Quantum breath. Chumo dodged and flew forward, staring at the energy. This thing likes to spit in other people's mouths. A wicked idea came to Chumo instantly. He aimed at Godzilla's big mouth. The heat in his eyes burst out. Boom. Two thick heat rays rushed straight into Godzilla's throat. Whoa. A wailing sound rang out. Godzilla's huge body sank to the bottom of the sea. Clark looked at Chumo's hot eyes. His eyes were full of envy. Second uncle's thermal vision is much thicker than his. I'm so envious. Ghidorah saw Godzilla going silent. There was a strong sadness in his eyes. A surge of anger rushed straight into his heart. Boom. The body changed instantly. Yellow thunder was brewing at the neck. Boom. The destructive thunder shot out again. It wanted to avenge its good friend. Oh. Progress. Chumo was overjoyed. 
He now regarded this guy as his personal property. This thunder force was like an ancient beast. It was coming towards him. Chumo decided to completely crush its self-esteem and shame. He did not block it with his body. He opened his arms and let the destructive thunder pour down on him. Boom. Chumo's body was submerged in thunder. Queen Nami, who was watching, became nervous instantly. She was worried. She was afraid that Chumo would turn into ashes. This was the first time she saw Chumo really take action. For some reason, Aquaman was expecting Chumo and was also a little nervous. He expected Chumo to perish in the thunder. At the same time, he was worried that he would die. It can be said that his mood was very contradictory. Clark was different. He had absolute confidence in Chumo. Thunder of this level may destroy oneself. But if you want to kill Chumo, there is no way. The thunder dissipated. A figure stood in the air. You're not going to die. Aquaman's eyes widened, his face full of disbelief. Huh. Queen Nami breathed a sigh of relief. Seeing the expression on the Sea King's face, she was furious. What a rebellious son. I just found him a father with a strong backing. This guy just wants Chumo to die. The slender hand stretched out. Bang. Aquaman's head was instantly foggy. Woo woo woo. I've fallen out of favor. Aquaman was depressed and a little bit unbelievable. Mera looked at him with disdain. She took a step to the side and completely distanced herself from him. On the battlefield, Ghidorah looked at the unharmed man in front of him. His eyes were full of fear. Although his IQ was not high. But he was definitely not stupid. The man in front of him could not be provoked. This was the sixth sense of being a monster. Roar. In the sea, Godzilla reappeared. Ghidorah's eyes flashed with surprise. It thought its good friend was killed by the man in front of it. So it was extremely angry. But the situation was not what it thought. The bony fin on Godzilla's back flashed a dazzling red light when it reappeared. Chumo looked over. Slightly absent-minded. Isn't this the energy of heat realization? Did it absorb evolution? Yes. Yes. Godzilla was about to release his atomic breath. Suddenly, the man appeared before him. Come on. If Godzilla could speak, he would definitely shout. It stretched out its front claws, trying to tear the man into pieces. Suddenly, its neck tightened. It was a little out of breath. I saw a huge red hand pinching Godzilla's neck. The flashing red light was the crimson power. The fear in King Ghidorah's eyes had not dissipated. Suddenly, his neck tightened. His body flew towards Chumo involuntarily. The people watching were stunned. No martial ethics. Locking the throat. Chumo Ling picked up the two monsters and flew towards the starry sky. Their bodies were extremely large. Godzilla was thousands of meters long and weighed tens of thousands of tons. Although King Ghidorah was a little smaller, it weighed more than 10,000 tons. And Chumo there was no pressure at all. He took them away in an instant. The sea returned to its calm state. Clark's eyes swept to the starry sky. He frowned. He did not find the figures of his second uncle and the monster. The same was true for others. After a short stop, Queen Nami took Aquaman and Mera back to the underwater world. She was not worried about Chumo at all. After all, it was proved that if Chumo wanted to kill these two monsters, it would only take a few minutes. The reason why he did not do it. He must have his own plans. As a mature woman, Queen Nami knew it very well. It is better for women not to interfere in men's affairs. Clark saw that several people ignored him. Suddenly he felt a little bored. The task assigned by the second uncle. Not only did he fail to complete it, he was almost killed by a monster. Shame on you. He was thinking. Is he only suitable for being a security guard? With his strength, he still wants to protect the earth. Is he thinking too much? Clark fell into serious self-doubt. In the devastated starry sky. Godzilla and Ghidorah kept wailing. Their huge bodies kept flying in the starry sky. Bang. 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 Chumo kept appearing in various directions. Every time he appeared, he punched or kicked the two monsters. The two monsters screamed in disarray. There was no more pride in his eyes, only fear. After a moment, Chumo stopped. Standing in front of the two monsters. Do you accept it? Godzilla and Ghidorah lowered their heads. They surrendered. They could understand human words, but they could not communicate. That's good. From now on you will be my mounts. Chumo touched the foreheads of the two monsters. 
Roar. Roar. After hearing the word, mount, their eyes were full of resistance. Submission and being a mount were two different things in their minds. Yo. You have a problem. Chumo didn't indulge them and continued to attack. A moment later, Godzilla and Ghidorah lay in the starry sky. Their expressions showed hopelessness, and their huge bodies ached. They couldn't even move. Will the mount do it? Chumo continued. The two monsters still had an unyielding look in their eyes. It seems that you are really looking for death. Chumo was furious. He showed mercy again and again. He wanted to take them back as mounts. However, these two monsters were extremely uncooperative. Then you can't stay. Chumo's momentum changed dramatically in an instant. There was no longer a trace of hidden cultivation in his body. A cold killing intent bloomed in his eyes. In the starry sky, countless fire elements gathered. A fiery red sword appeared in his hand. Then die. Chumo spoke slowly, raising the sword in his hand. Godzilla and Ghidorah looked at Chumo, their bodies trembling. They were extremely scared. Although Chumo had been beating them, these two king-level monsters had their own pride. They could surrender if they couldn't win. But being a mount meant being driven forever. This made them very uncomfortable. And although the man in front of them was powerful, he still had the qualifications to make them completely surrender. But now, the man's momentum has completely changed. Although his body is small, the momentum on his body is very amazing, just like the ancient king of the starry sky. For the absolute strong, they maintained super obedience. Godzilla couldn't help trembling, and his proud head lowered. The sound of wailing continued. It felt the man's killing intention. Are you willing? Chumo was stunned for a moment. Godzilla lowered his head and rubbed against Chumo's feet. Like a pug. What about you? Chumo looked at King Ghidorah. Its three dragon heads also bowed deeply. Chumo's other leg kept rubbing. Good. Very good. Chumo was very happy. Finally recovered. Back to Earth. In the planet building, Chumo glanced at the time on his wrist. Asgard 2 hours 12 minutes 45 seconds. I am about to cross over. Chumo has been back for a while. He settled the two giant beasts. Let them hide in the sea, waiting for his call at any time. He said a few words to Obaba and Nara. He will disappear for a while again. Nara is used to it. But before leaving, she squeezed Chumo a few more times. Marvel World. Conqueror Kong looked at the screen. The corners of his mouth rose, and he couldn't stop being excited. The screen showed the scene of Chumo using the anti-life equation to kill the time magic soldiers in seconds. This is a power I have never seen before. I want to control it in my hands. Kong was very excited. Although he only saw it through the screen, he was very sure that it was a supreme power, even above time. However, he searched all over the 616 universe and still couldn't find the shadow of that man. It shouldn't be. Kong was very confused. He returned to the time administration again and checked various information. He finally confirmed that the man was not from this world. He was from the Marvel world. This surprised Kong very much. He traveled through countless multiverses and met too many powerful people. He even destroyed hundreds of thousands of universes with his own hands. But he had never seen people from other worlds. This was a huge discovery. He must not let himself in other universes know. Otherwise, this piece of cake would be difficult to divide. Since he could reach the 616 universe and completely disrupted the timeline, it meant that the man could travel between the two worlds. It was just that there might be some restrictions when traveling. Kong kept thinking. After observation, it was not difficult to find him. Odin. Hela. As long as I control them, the men I'm afraid of won't appear. Ha ha. Kong laughed loudly. His body appeared in the Asgard temple. Odin. Hela. Who? Odin looked up instantly. Hela also looked towards the source of the voice. Kong walked forward slowly, without any expression. Where is he? Odin and Hela looked at each other. They understood instantly. The one the other party was talking about must be Chu Mo. It's just that this black man. Odin had never seen or heard of him. He had a bad feeling in his heart. Time Management Bureau. Kong walked in front of Odin. One last time. Where is he? Odin's eyes were cold. He was angry. This man didn't take him seriously at all. Come. I'll tell you. Odin stepped forward and whispered in Kang's ear. Boom. 
All the thunder power in his body burst out, emitting an eternal light. It went towards Kang's temple. Bang. Kong did not dodge. He turned his head slightly. With two fingers, he flicked lightly. Odin's body fell heavily backwards. In an instant, the Asgard temple collapsed. In an instant, his life or death was unknown. Hela controlled the power of death in her body to burst out. The sword of the night sky went straight to Kang's throat. Ding. The invincible night sky sword seemed to have pierced into a hard iron stone. The sound of iron swords rang out. The night sky sword broke into two pieces. Humph. Just an ant. Kong was extremely disdainful. His eyes were full of mockery. Poof. Odin spat out a few red blood clots in the ruins. The blood clots were mixed with internal organs. His appearance instantly became extremely old. The other party just flicked it with two fingers, and he suffered such serious injuries. He is too strong. He should be the man Chumo mentioned. Odin glanced at Hela who was about to die at any time. A trace of determination flashed in his eyes. Great Thunderlord. I am Odin, your faithful servant. I am willing to sacrifice my soul and everything I have in exchange for a brief moment of power. As Odin chanted, an ancient will descended. Kong let go of Hela and looked at Odin in the ruins. The ancestor of Thunder God. Kong the Conqueror. The ancient will is silent. Ha ha. It turns out that the Odin of this universe can actually summon such a being. He is mine. The ancient will slowly spoke. Yours. Even if you come in person, you have to crawl on your knees. Kong finished speaking. With one punch, the time of the entire space was instantly reversed. The ancient will was expelled. Odin looked at this man with fear. He could really control time. And unlike those time guards, they just used some props to simply stop time. But this man could turn back time. He just threw a punch. In the life court. Conqueror Kong. An ancient being could not help but roar. He was very unwilling. Finally, a descendant of thunder was willing to dedicate his soul. But it was disrupted by Kong. He had lived for endless years. Odin's soul was particularly important. It was related to a big plan. Then his will was recondensed. He was going to come again. Huh. Still coming. Kang's eyes showed disdain. Odin and this ancient will were in tune with each other. Lord of Thunder, I beg you to teleport my daughter to some other place. I still give everything. Really. The words of the Thunder God's ancestor echoed in his heart. Real. Okay. The Thunder God nodded. He actually didn't want to face Kong the Conqueror. And this Kong was even more powerful. Even if he came in person, he might not be his opponent. This guy has already surpassed the multiverse level. Since he doesn't want to fight, just teleport Hela away. That's easy. In an instant, the Ancient Will became a Black Thunder. The Thunder tightly wrapped Hela. Boom. Her body disappeared in an instant. Kong looked at the disappearing Hela. He felt a little annoyed. This ant actually offended me again and again. You were really courting death. Just when he was about to destroy Odin. Odin suddenly stood up from the ruins. He smiled slightly and raised his middle finger towards Kong. This gesture is understood by all the universes. Kong naturally understood it. He flew high up. A dazzling blue light flashed on his fist. The light rushed straight down to Asgard. In an instant. Asgard turned into powder. A huge energy shockwave fell from the sky. Odin looked around Asgard. His eyes were somewhat reluctant. There was heartache and even more guilt. It's over. It's all over. He whispered. Boom. Asgard, which had existed for countless years and dominated the Nine Realms, was reduced to dust at this moment. Only Hela escaped. Kong looked at the masterpiece in his hand and laughed. It seemed that he had done this kind of thing more than once or twice. Don't worry. I will find you. No matter where you are hiding. I will definitely find you out. Kong slid his finger. A light curtain portal appeared. He went in. Time Administration Bureau. Enemy attack. Enemy attack. The alarm continued. A large number of time guards rushed over. Some agents aimed their time pistols at Conqueror Kong. Everyone, put down your weapons. I am your god of time. Kong shouted. God of time. What the hell. Playing tricks. On. Judge Nicole has been sacrificed. I don't know where these fools came from. Kill him. Imprison him. Kong did not speak to all the discussions about him. He had been hiding in the dark for too many years. 
the time was almost right for him to step out to the front and accept the feeling of being the center of attention. The most important thing was that the internal situation of the Time Management Bureau had been noticed by some people. Conqueror Kong felt that there was no need to disguise himself anymore. His time had crossed the multiverse level and entered a brand new one. In the multiverse, as long as he did not provoke those ancient beings, there would be no problem. And now he had discovered an extremely supreme energy rune. That was something he must have. Alas. A bunch of ignorant mortals. An extremely thin blue line condensed in Kang's palm. Whoosh. The blue line rushed towards the time guard and the agent. In less than a second, the blue line returned to his hand. Shish. Kong whistled as he walked towards the command room. His figure disappeared. A tiny crack appeared on the necks of the agents and time guards who were surrounded. Slowly, the crack became bigger and bigger. Bang, bang, bang. A moment later, their heads all slid down. Some staff members who saw it through the surveillance were stunned. The Time Administration is in charge of countless multiverses. The most important rule is that except for the Time Guardian, no one can use various magical powers here. And today, with the arrival of the Black Man, everything was shattered. Heads fell from Kang's residence. Nor does Time Administration. Tens of thousands of people. All died in an instant. He looked happy. He was happy every time he killed someone. How many years have passed. He even couldn't remember it clearly. He sneaked up on the Time Guardian in a starry sky and controlled the timeline of the multiverse. Like a mastermind, he controlled countless powerful people. And now he has finally surfaced. He has completely entered the ranks of the first line powerful people in the multiverse. How unhappy. The breath of freedom. From today on, his status will be comparable to that of Pharaoh, Eternity, and Space. Because he represents time. In the starry sky, on the huge throne, a man in armor and purple all over quietly observed the universe. Next to him stood several people, all of whom revealed a powerful aura. Father. A mechanical woman came over through the meteorites. The man looked at the mechanical woman. She knelt down immediately. Merciful Heavenly Father, the existence that transcends the voice of the gods. My eternally respected Master. Lord Thanos. Your daughter pays you the highest respects. Thanos smiled slightly. There was a flash of disdain in his eyes. He stroked the battle blade beside him with his fingers. A powerful aura burst out. Looking at his adopted daughter, Nebula. After years of growth, he transformed her into a cyborg. But in his heart, this daughter was just a worthless existence. And his other adopted daughter was his jewel in the palm. Get up. I won quarter. Thanos spoke slowly. Nebula stood up. His head was still bowed deeply, not daring to look directly at him. Father, news about the discovery of the soul gem. Oh. Thanos stood up. He had been searching for the infinity stones in the universe. After years of searching, he had gradually gained information about several types of stones. Only the soul stone remained unknown. He did not expect that Nebula would bring him such good news. Earth. The Avengers. On a witch's body. Nebula smiled. This was something she discovered by accident. That witch is very strong. Really. Thanos glanced at the tyrant blade next to him. A trace of bloodthirsty desire emanated from him. Ibanama. My respected master. After hearing Thanos call. Ebony Ma knelt on one leg with a look of admiration on his face. Send troops to Earth. Target the Time Stone and the Mind Stone. Yes. Ebony Ma's eyes lit up with excitement. He has followed Thanos for so many years. Finally, he is about to start. Thinking of that great plan, Ebony Ma couldn't help but get excited. Father, I want to follow you in battle. Nebula's eyes were full of the color of following. Thanos looked up into the depths of the universe. I'm going to Asgard. He picked up the tyrant blade. His palm couldn't help but wipe it. Odin. It's time to compete. Just when Thanos was thinking about how to attack, suddenly, in the distant starry sky, a wave of air waves spread. Ebony Ma instantly blocked in front of him. An invisible thought unfolded, and in an instant, a transparent barrier protected the starry sky. Their eyes looked in the direction of the air wave. An extremely gorgeous firework lit up. Asgard. Thanos was a little uncertain. That direction was the center of the Nine Realms. Who was fighting there? It actually caused such a big disturbance. Thanos was a little excited. 
he was a little impatient. If there was a strong man fighting with Odin, then he would go there and pick up the spoils. Wouldn't it be wonderful? Target. Asgard. Thanos was excited. The battleship sailed towards Asgard. Get ready for battle. Thanos warned. The five Black Orders clenched their weapons tightly, and they were a little nervous. For many years, Asgard and they have been mortal enemies. But now they are going to clash head on. They are excited, but they are also a little scared. Coordinates. 817,874 Asgard has arrived. The battleship screen kept prompting. And Thanos, who was wearing his armor, frowned. Where is Asgard? Master, did we go the wrong way? Ebony Ma asked. In front of them was a gorgeous starry sky. There was no Asgard. Thanos was also very confused. The probability of the battleship getting wrong information was almost zero. But there was nothing here. Suddenly, a small piece of tree trunk floated in front of him. Thanos' eyes shrank suddenly. He was very familiar with that small tree trunk. The trunk of the world tree. The thing that supports the nine realms. But at this time it was broken into a small piece. He had a bad idea in his mind. But this idea was too incredible. Too exaggerated. Maybe Asgard was destroyed. In an instant, another piece of temple fragments floated over. Thanos's thoughts were instantly confirmed. My lord. Ebony Ma was a little nervous. Obviously, he had guessed the outcome. Being able to quietly destroy Asgard into dust. This strength has exceeded their imagination. In addition to the creator god, the Celestials. There is also the goddess he secretly loves. Thanos couldn't think of anyone who could do this. But at the moment, running away is the first priority. What if he angered an unknown existence? Thanos can't bear it. His destiny has not been completed yet. He can't die here. Go all out. Escape from here. Thanos had beads of sweat on his forehead. Ebony Ma didn't dare to stop at all. He drove the battleship forward at a high speed. In less than a second, he completed several interstellar jumps. Continue. Jump again. Along the way, Thanos kept urging. Nebula was stunned. She had never seen her father show such fear. And now he looked extremely flustered. Obviously, he was very afraid of something. It was unknown how long their warship had been jumping in space. They finally stopped. Ebony Ma glanced at Thanos. The fear in their eyes slightly dissipated. Terrible. Directly destroy Asgard's existence. The strength has at least surpassed the single universe level. Otherwise, it would be impossible to blast Asgard into such a mess. Master, what should we do next? Ebony Ma asked. Thanos glanced in the direction of Asgard, of course he didn't know which direction it was now. Slowly speaking. Go to Earth, we must get the Infinity Stones as soon as possible. The destruction of Asgard made Thanos a little anxious. It seemed that some things were beyond his control, this feeling was very bad. Earth. Avengers Tower. Boom. A flash of black lightning flashed. Hela's figure appeared. Your father used his soul to buy your life. I hope you can take care of yourself. The old voice was about to leave. Wait, what's your name? Hela's eyes flashed with sadness. Odin's behavior made Hela understand completely. What was the earth in his mind? Ha ha. Interesting little guy. You are not qualified to know the name of the boss yet. But I am in a good mood. I am still willing to tell you something. Life Tribunal. The ancient will said. It completely disappeared. Living Tribunal. Hela murmured. I will rescue you in the end. I, Hela, don't owe anyone a favor, including you, an old man. Suddenly, a feeling of weakness came from the bottom of my heart. Hela's father level strength instantly changed to the sub-heaven level. Asgard is destroyed. She felt very upset. Her homeland, where the relationship with Odin had finally eased, was now reduced to ashes. Chu Mo. Where are you? Hela's longing for Chu Mo reached its peak in an instant. Hela. A voice sounded. Hela instantly controlled her emotions and turned around. She was the goddess of death, not a delicate little woman. Such a weak side could only be revealed in front of Chu Mo. Huh. Heimdall. Hela was stunned. Wasn't he banished by Odin? How could he be here? It seems the old man has something else up his sleeve. Who is she? A man with blonde hair asked. Hela glanced at him. Some people surrounded her. An iron man in red, a girl in a jacket with magic flashing on her body, 
an archer with a bow and arrow, and a man with blonde hair who didn't look very smart. He is not an outsider, he is Hila. Odin's daughter, Thor's sister Hila. Heimdall spoke quickly. Although he didn't know why Hela appeared here, she was not someone she wanted to offend. And he had something important to ask her. Sister. Thor was a little confused. Although Odin had said it once before, he didn't take it to heart at that time. And after the brainwashing of Helm, he knew that it was this woman who took his throne. Even if she was his sister. Thor didn't care about the throne, but it was too much to take it away without saying hello. Even if she was his sister, it was not allowed. He took a step forward and wanted to make a gesture with Hela. I can't sense Asgard anymore. Heimdall looked at her and spoke softly. There was a trace of sadness in Hela's eyes. Yes. There is no Asgard in the universe anymore. There is no god King Odin anymore. What? What happened? Thor couldn't help asking. Hela glanced at Thor, her eyes full of contempt. Her brother was such a loser. He ate like a pig and couldn't even sense the disappearance of Asgard. What's the use of him? He's not as good as the watchdog Heimdall. Although he is gifted. However, he sensed the disappearance of Asgard as soon as he saw it. Odin. Odin. Impossible. Heimdall's eyes were full of tears. He couldn't believe it. As the master of the nine realms, above the king of the gods, Heimdall's god of faith. Nuo Li Zhao, now Hela is dead. This is a huge blow to Heimdall. Who is the enemy? I'm going to kill him. Thor kept shouting. Captain America went forward and hugged him. Thor, calm down. Don't be like this. I won't. Thor was going crazy. Hela glanced at him. Thor's strength was still at the peak of the earth level. And Hela had dropped from the father level to the sub-heaven level. Her strength was still slowly decreasing. But it was more than enough to beat an earth level. What a disgrace. Hela stretched out his hand and slapped Thor on the back of the head. Bang. With a loud bang, Thor felt his eyes go dark and fainted. Hiss. Stark couldn't help but touch the back of his head. It hurts so much. It would be great if brother Chumo was here, maybe he could help you. Wanda spoke slowly. Hela looked at Wanda suddenly. Her face was full of shock. You know Chumo. Wanda's body tensed up. Why? You know him too. Where is he? Hela was a little nervous. In the Marvel world, Aga's old place. A black shadow slowly gathered. Ding, congratulations to the host for successfully traveling across time. Whenever Chumo heard this voice, he couldn't help but wonder in his heart. Could it be that there is still a failure in the journey? He opened his eyes and saw everything around him. Huh, where's Asgard? Chumo was shocked. When he traveled through time, Asgard was fine. How could it be gone in just a few days? Where's Odin? Where's Hela? He frowned, as if something strange had happened. At this time, the system's voice sounded. Ding, the host triggers the defense mission. In Marvel Universe 616, the superheroes on Earth are suffering from the invisible destruction of Dormammu. Please rescue them or eliminate the enemies within 72 hours. Mission reward. A portal between the 600th world and the Marvel world. Rescuers. Ancient One, Hela, Wanda, Thor, Stark. In the end what happened? Chumo didn't care about it. The mother box in his body rotated rapidly. A ray of light rose. His figure disappeared in the starry sky. Not long after Chumo left, a light curtain door opened. Kong walked out from it. He observed the disappearing space and frowned deeply. That guy appeared again. He didn't know where he went. And the teleportation power on his body was very mysterious. That power Kong had never seen before. We must find him. Kong murmured, turned and walked into the Time Management Bureau. Earth. Kamar Taj, Mount Everest. A yellow portal opened. Stephen was pushed in. He was wearing thin clothes and glanced at the snow-capped mountains around him. He couldn't help but curse. Bald head, are you teaching magic or are you trying to kill people for money? Since the car accident, he has dreamed of a bald man every day. And a voice kept tempting him. He must come to Kamar Taj. Stephen had already lost hope in life. With the mentality of trying everything. He crossed many boundaries and finally found Kamar Taj. Mainly because someone came to him in dreams every day. So he found this place without much effort. Here, he met the bald man and also saw many mystic magicians. But his talent was too poor. He couldn't even open a basic ordinary portal. 
he could be called the apprentice with the least magical talent in the history of Kamar Taj. What he didn't expect was that the bald man named Ancient One actually threw himself to this place. Isn't this murder for money? Stephen was indignant. Then no matter how he called out, there was no response. It seemed that Ancient One was determined and insisted that he learn the portal before he could go out. The whistling cold wind was very biting. Stephen shivered. Now he had no other way but to think in one. The ring on his finger flashed with magical light. Under the pressure of death, a portal slowly opened. Kamar Taj Square. Ancient One stared at the air in front of her. She was a little nervous. She had no idea whether Stephen could succeed. Although she had watched countless timelines, it was only a possibility. When it really came to the present, everything was full of uncertainties. 537. At this moment, Wang walked over. He looked panicked. Cold sweat broke out on his forehead. Sorcerer Supreme, something bad has happened. A rebellion has occurred in the New York Temple. Casalio is summoning the Dark Lord Dormammu. After hearing this, Ji Yuyi almost fainted. She thought she was fast enough. She accepted Stephen as her apprentice five years early. Unexpectedly, she was still so late. Dormammu actually came to Earth five years early. What happened to the timeline? Ji Yuyi was very upset at this time. However, all her hopes were on Stephen on Mount Everest who had not yet learned how to open the portal. Now she was at a loss. In an instant, the bohemian figure appeared in her mind. No matter. Let's go first. If Casalio really summons Dormammu, then it will be a disaster for the entire universe. Ancient One quickly opened the portal and disappeared in the square of Kamar Taj. Not long after Ancient One left, a portal opened wide. Oh yeah. Stephen walked out of the portal trembling. I succeeded. I succeeded. Stephen's face was full of excitement. Pa. The continued low temperature of his body made his eyes go dark and he fainted completely. New York Festival. Casalio and a group of mages gathered together. Sitting cross-legged. Under their feet was a huge and complex magic pattern. They kept chanting. Dark Lord Dormammu, your followers call upon you and pray that you will descend into the 616 universe. Boom. The pattern under them burned with black flames. Dark power flowed around Casalio's eyes. Dark power filled their bodies. Above New York, the originally clear weather suddenly became dark. Above the earth, a huge black channel loomed. Dark magic emanated from the channel, blocking all the sun. In the dark dimension, Dormammu felt the call of the universe to himself. And a wide channel has been built. He can come with 100% of his cultivation. The 616 universe is mine, and the scarlet power is mine. Dormammu couldn't help but feel ecstatic. He didn't expect that Sithon would come to him again. The purpose was very clear. It was to bring back the chess piece he left there when he invaded the 616 universe. Called Scarlet Witch. If it was before, Dormammu would definitely not dare to have any idea and just do it. But now, he knows more and more secrets. He also knows what the Scarlet Power represents in the multiverse. That is chaos magic, which can distort reality. It even has a direct relationship with the supreme dark power in Sithon. As long as he gets it, all the dark power in his body will be converted into scarlet power. Then find a place to hide. In the future, he will have his own place in the position of the strong in the multiverse. It's hard to say whether he can even be on par with Sithoan. Dormammu glanced at the passage in front of him. Thinking of the road to success in the future, he stepped out. Disappeared in the dark dimension. Above the earth, a huge black face was looming. Ancient One came to the New York Temple. Suddenly, some magicians rushed over. Ancient One had no time to play with them. He stretched out his palm. One handprint after another was slapped out. In an instant, the souls in these magicians were slapped out. She didn't care about these little Karami. Instead, she looked at Casalio who was sitting cross-legged. Ancient One's eyes were very complicated. His only apprentice, the one with the highest magical talent. He led some magicians to completely rebel against Kamar Taj. He became a permanent scar in Ancient One's heart. All plans were disrupted. You're here. Coliseo showed a triumphant expression on his face. Ancient One looked up at the sky. She understood at this moment. It was too late. Chu Mo's figure reappeared in her mind. She shook her head. She felt it was very unrealistic. 
Dormammu was a single universe level existence. It had only been a few days. Chumo was at most at the peak of the father level. He was not his opponent at all. Although there was only a fine line between the peak of the father level and the single universe level, the real difference was as great as that between the gods of the nine heavens and the ants on the ground. Ancient One had been the supreme sorcerer for a long time. His magic power had even reached the peak of the father level. But the single universe level still blocked her out. No matter how much power she borrowed, she could not move forward. This barrier also completely separated her from the strong. You shouldn't do this. Ji Yu Yi was not angry. She understood why Carisio did this. Ha ha. She will be resurrected soon. As long as she can be resurrected, let alone summoning Dormammu. Even if it is to summon Sithan. I will do it. Casalio's attitude is very firm. Ji Yu Yi's eyes exude a trace of pity. Alas. Do you think Dormammu really has this ability? Ancient one sighed and took a step forward. What do you mean? Colisio felt something was wrong, but he couldn't tell why. He had already summoned successfully. Dormammu would come to earth in two minutes. There was no need for the ancient one to lie to him now. Impossible. Impossible. Casilio shook his head. He paid such a huge price just to use Dormammu's dark power to revive his wife. And now this method was denied by ancient one again. At this time, he was a little shaken. Avengers Tower. Everyone came out. Alert. Alert. Alien invasion discovered. Coordinates New York. Smart, CJCD, Butler Jarvis kept reminding. I'm not blind. I've seen it. Stark was a little annoyed. Looking at the passage above the sky, he felt a little heavy. The other party came with bad intentions. With such a grand show, they must not be ordinary invaders. Hela's strength has dropped to the earth level at this time. In another day, she will lose all her strength and become an ordinary human. This is unacceptable to Hela, who has a strong desire for conquest. However, she has no way to do it. The shattering of Asgard means that she is the source of regional power. Dormammu. Hela frowned. Know each other. Stark was a little surprised. If Hela and the invader were friends, they could have a meal and talk, maybe they could avoid a war. I don't know. I've seen it in some books. I one half I one half I a half. Wanda looked at the huge passage in the sky, and for some reason, she felt particularly flustered. It was as if there was a particularly powerful dark master quietly commenting on her in the void. I don't know when my brother will come back. Wanda's beautiful eyes were full of worry. Alas. Hila sighed helplessly. In the past two days, she had already thoroughly understood that. Wanda and Natasha were Chumo's women. Based on his elusive personality, there might be another woman. This made them very tired. Otherwise, let Hulk go first. Captain America stared at the sky with a frown. According to previous practice, Thor would be the first to test the water with his hammer before the battle. But since the hammer was crushed, Hulk has been standing in the first column. He has thick skin and is very durable. Basically, the strength of the opponent can be seen directly through Hulk. Nick Fury came out, he looked very nervous. He looked at Stark with an inquiring look. Sir, I suggest sending nuclear weapons directly. The enemy may be beyond our imagination. Natasha was wearing a tight combat suit, her eyes full of worry. I agree. Hawkeye and Natasha stood together. Good. Nick Fury did not hesitate. To deal with this invading monster, sending out a nuclear bomb is definitely the best way to deal with it. Boom. In the sky, the passage was broken, and a huge face appeared. Ha ha. Universe 616, Tremble. Dormammu laughed. His eyes passed over the ancient one in front of him and looked at Wanda at the Avengers base. The power of crimson. It's so tempting. Dormammu's saliva is about to drip out. Fire. Nick Fury gave the order into the Infinity headset. Got it. Director. A reassuring voice came from the other end of the headset. Dormammu. Your enemy is me. Ji Yuyi looked at the big face in the sky without a single flinch. After hearing what Ji Yuyi said, Dormammu turned his eyes away from Wanda. Ancient one, long time no see. You liar. Dormammu's eyes were full of mockery. For hundreds of years. Dormammu has become a joke among the Dark Masters. It is because the Ancient One cheated him of his dark power that he has been holding a grudge against the 616 universe. 
Dormammu once swore that one day he would bloodbath the 616 universe and turn all the humans here into dark slaves. Thinking of this, Dormammu's eyes were filled with excitement. Revenge and obtaining the crimson power came at the same time. Maybe it's a gift from the supreme creators to me. Dormammu thought secretly. Fight. The magic power in the ancient body condensed and formed a sword in his hand. This is my fate. Ancient one shouted, flew up from the sky, and flew towards Dormammu. She knew in her heart. In front of Dormammu, she might be vulnerable. She might also be killed in an instant, but this was her fate, a fate she had avoided for countless years. However, a round nuclear missile with a flame appeared in front of her. Boom. The nuclear bomb hit Dormammu's forehead squarely. Dormammu ignored the small fireball. He knew it was just a little trick played by these ants. And he hadn't sensed any crisis yet. So he didn't take it seriously. The nuclear bomb exploded, and a huge mushroom cloud rose in the sky. Everyone watched intently. Dormammu's big face was completely covered by the mushroom cloud after the explosion. Poof. A huge mouth opened. The swirling mushroom clouds were instantly sucked in. Dormammu looked at the Avengers. There was no trace of murderous intent in his eyes. He was angry. Tony Stark's calves went numb. What the hell was that? It was a nuclear bomb. It actually ate the explosion. This behavior was even more perverted than Chumo's. How to fight? Captain America really couldn't muster up the desire to fight. The existence in the sky was too strong. It was completely beyond the power of the earth to contend with. Unless there was Chu Mo. No. Even if Chu Mo came, he probably wouldn't be the opponent. Captain America thought to himself. Dormammu in the sky was extremely annoyed at this time. He thought it was just an ordinary small fireball. He didn't expect the power to be so amazing. He was half a step into the universe level, but was attacked by this explosion. He felt half of his face numb. It was as if he was slapped hard. How could he bear this? All of you, die. Dormammu roared. A strong dark force spread out, sweeping away all the human beings on the earth. Drive Banner, come on. Stark looked at Dr. Banner. I won't. Dr. Banner, who was always successful, refused. The main reason was that the pressure from Dormammu was too strong. The voice of Hulk in his heart was desperately refusing. Stark didn't care about anything else. He grabbed Dr. Banner and flew up. In an instant, he came to Dormammu. Let me go. Dr. Banner couldn't help but yelled. Good. Stark let go. Ah. Dr. Banner flew into Dormammu's mouth. Dormammu looked at the food falling from the sky and frowned deeply. What's going on? Feed them. Dr. Banner was thrown into Dormammu's mouth like a grain of wheat. The magic sword in the hands of the Ancient One came at this time. He chopped hard at Dormammu's forehead. A dark force surged out. The Ancient One only felt a force of Norda coming out. Bang. Her body flew high up and instantly fell to the ground. Poof. A stream of hot blood spurted out, and Ancient One was seriously injured, with no strength left in his body. Dormammu wanted to go forward to finish him off. Suddenly, it felt like a foreign object was stuck in his throat. Cough. Dormammu coughed. A man with a green body was vomited out. Roar. Hulk appeared, his eyes full of anger. Looking at the huge monster in front of him, for some reason, he felt guilty. However, the arrow was on the string and had to be shot. Hulk had no choice but to jump high and smash Dormammu's eyeball with his green fists. A strong power shot out from Dormammu's eyes. Boom. Hulk's body was wrapped in the power of darkness, and a huge impact height I one half I one half I one half, he landed hard on the Avengers building. Everyone watched the Hulk rolling down. Ah. The black energy on the Hulk's surface was like a blade. The green blood in the body of the Hulk, who was always thick-skinned, could not stop flowing out. The severe pain made Hulk crazy. His mind was trembling. He never thought that a simple energy from the opponent could seriously injure him. The Avengers were full of fear. Hulk, one of the three giants, was seriously injured. Thor, who lost his hammer, was like a tiger with its teeth pulled out. And Captain America also lost his shield in the battle with Chu Mo. Captain America, who was always 50 to 50, looked at the Dark Master in the sky. He had no doubt that if he went up, he would definitely be beaten to pieces. 50 to 50. That also depends on the opponent. Want to be 50 to 50 with Dormammu, dreaming. 
Natasha couldn't help but take a step back. What should I do? She couldn't help but look at Wanda. Wanda was the strongest one now. She was wearing the Mind Stone and her strength had already reached the half-step Heavenly Father level. Wanda looked at Dormammu and she had no confidence at all. And that bald ancient one, the Supreme Sorcerer, was stronger than her, far beyond Wanda. Now he was lying on the ground like a dead dog, unable to move. Why don't we go together? Stark suggested. It's useless. The other party didn't make a move. Even if we attacked together, we would still end up dead. Wanda has become the backbone of the Avengers at this time. Are we going to watch him destroy the Earth? Captain America was a little anxious. Wanda pondered for a moment and glanced at the still wailing Hulk. A countermeasure gradually came to her mind. I have an idea. I wonder if it will work. Wanda said. What method? As long as we can stop this dark master. Any method will do. Nick Fury stood up and fully supported Wanda. Okay, this is what you said. Wanda didn't explain, the crimson power in her body gushed out and rushed straight to Hulk. A group of people were very confused. Why didn't Wanda attack the Dark Lord, but sent her power to Hulk? Stark had a vague answer in his heart. He was not so sure. He has been studying Hulk for a long time. B. Hulk has huge energy in his body, and his current state seems to be unable to exert 1% of his internal strength. Only with Hulk's constant anger, desperate fear and some desperate emotions can Hulk evolve again. And Wanda obviously has this ability. Mind bewitching will make Hulk completely fall into a state of madness. Roar. The crimson power permeated Hulk's body. Waves of extremely desperate emotions hit his mind. Woo. Hulk's hands kept tearing at his body, tearing off large pieces of green skin. The pain made him even angrier. In a few seconds, Hulk's body twisted. Bang. Hulk's body was torn apart, and a Hulk with four hands emerged. The dark power on the surface of his body dissipated completely, and his bald head and eyes were full of destruction and cruelty. The whole body was full of explosive power. A destructive momentum rose from the ground. Four-handed Hulk, half a step to the single universe level. Quick, stay away from him. Without Stark's reminder, all the Avengers distanced themselves from him in the blink of an eye. Dormammu in the sky was attracted by this momentum. His eyes were slightly shaken. Half-step single universe level. The crimson power is so terrifying. It can actually promote a peak earth level existence to half-step universe level. Dormammu's heart was instantly extremely greedy. He wanted the crimson power. He couldn't give it to Sisson no matter what. Roar. The awakening of the four-armed Hulk represents the emergence of another personality of the Hulk. The original situation of Dr. Banner and Hulk dividing the world has changed to a three-way confrontation. Roar. The four-armed Hulk soared into the sky, his eyes were deep red. Anger occupied his heart, and now he had only one thought. Destroy. 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 Smash everything in front of him and kill the existence in the sky. In his eyes, there was no such thing as teammates. All the creatures in front of him had to be destroyed to eliminate the anger in his heart. Bang! The four-armed Hulk stomped hard on Dormammu's face. The huge impact made Dormammu shaken. Bang! 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 Then, countless fist shadows filled the air. Dormammu felt a pain in his forehead. The feeling of, pa pa pa, came. Ants! Dormammu shouted. Half of his body was pulled out of the channel. He pinched the angry Hulk with two fingers. The dark power condensed. A huge squeezing feeling came. Ah! Even the Hulk who evolved to four arms couldn't bear this shocking power. The screams rang out, and the Avengers below were sore. The four-armed Hulk struggled desperately, waving his hands constantly, and punched Dormammu's fingers. However, no matter how he struggled, it didn't work at all. Humble reptile. Frog in the well. Do you know what a single universe level is? Dormammu kept mocking. A strong black force permeated. He wanted to destroy this planet and kill all living things. Of course, the witch with scarlet power was excluded. In an instant, a huge palm appeared above the earth. Between the five fingers, the power of darkness lingered, and the breath of destruction covered the entire earth. Ancient One slowly climbed up from the ground and looked at the palm slowly coming from the sky. There was a flash of unwillingness in his eyes. She failed. Completely failed. After all, she could not escape the arrangement of fate. 
The advent of Dormammu not only meant that the earth would be destroyed, but even the entire universe might perish. Above the distant starry sky, Chu Mo's eyes penetrated the stars. The situation on the earth was instantly clear. Ancient one who wanted to die, Hila who was unwilling, Natasha who was helpless, Wanda who showed sadness. And the Avengers who gave up struggling one by one. Faster. Chu Mo was anxious. He had seen that a dark master there stretched out his big hand to destroy the earth. Hila looked up at the sky, staring at the big hand in the sky, a trace of unwillingness emerged. Then she gave up struggling. This big hand was not something she could resist at all. And even if she was in her prime, she couldn't stop it. Nick Fury's face was full of sadness. He tried every means and started planning to fight against these supernatural forces decades ago. Unexpectedly, it was all in vain. The enemies of the earth are getting stronger and stronger. He is powerless. Natasha kept praying in her heart. At this moment, she hoped that a man would fall from the sky. To solve this crisis. She is not afraid of death. She just feels sorry for the creatures on the earth. Brother. I miss you. Wanda's eyes were filled with tears. Quicksilver held Wanda's hand tightly. In the face of death, no one can remain calm. The big hand made of dark energy is getting closer and closer to the ground. The next second, the earth will be destroyed. A loud shout came from the sky. Dormammu, you rubbish. If the earth loses a hair, I will flatten your dark dimension. The voice was filled with great anger, like a god. Dormammu couldn't help but look up. He saw a figure falling from the sky in a silver light. Chu Mo. Elder brother. Brother-in-law. Everyone looked at Chu Mo's figure, and in an instant, all kinds of emotions came out. He's coming. Captain America looked at the figure floating in the air, his eyes gleaming with surprise. That man single-handedly challenged the entire Ultron army. The Avengers could not survive a single round in his hands. This is Chu Mo. He arrived at the last moment. Hila glanced at the back of the figure in the air. Tears fell uncontrollably. In just a few days, she suffered many hardships. She originally thought she was going to die. Unexpectedly, at the last moment, he came. This is her man, Hela's pride, and the man who changed her heart and her destiny. Burn the heaven and earth. Chumo did not stay at all. The domain word in his heart burst into a sky-high light. Countless fire powers condensed. In an instant, Dormammu's black energy hand burned with raging flames. The sky was full of flames, like the end of the world. The liquid in the body condensed and turned into a colorful cloak, floating in the wind. After a while, the flames and the dark hand offset each other. The sky turned blue again. Streams of boiling hot air filled the air and gathered together. Turned into drifting rain, pouring down. Dormammu stared at the man in front of him. He was extremely shocked. After all kinds of calculations, he came to the conclusion that the strongest person in the 616 universe is the peak of the father level existence. When did a single universe level appear? The aura emanating from the man and him was comparable. Both were at the initial stage of the single universe. The will to fight was invisibly radiated between the two. You are very strong. Dormammu looked solemn. He glanced at the Scarlet Witch in the distance, and the greed in his heart was not hidden at all. Hand her over. I'll leave right away. Dormammu made the biggest compromise. Instantly, Wanda's eyes showed a trace of worry. It's not a bad idea to exchange her name for the peace of the entire earth. But before she can reunite with her brother, she is separated from him. There is some regret in her heart. Chumo turned his head and glanced at Wanda, and a reassuring look passed over. He didn't speak, and his body disappeared instantly. He reappeared above Dormammu's head. You want to touch my woman. Who do you think you are? Chumo stretched out a palm and went to the top of Dormammu's head. Then let's fight. Dormammu is not a hesitant person. He wanted to avoid a fight for the sake of being on the same level. He didn't expect this man to be so ungrateful. Dormammu condensed a strong dark power in his palms, trying to block Chumo's palm. But Chumo's move was too fast. In an instant, it pressed on his head. The crimson power spread out and turned into a big hand, grabbing Dormammu's head and pulling it hard. Bang! Half of Dormammu's body shattered in the passage where he was. Get up! Chumo shouted. The huge hand grabbed Dormammu's head and pulled it out. Huh! Dormammu was dragged up by the head before he could react. How could it be? 
How is it possible? Dormammu struggled desperately, like a child. But the big hand above his head held him tightly. No matter how he resisted, he couldn't break free. The Avengers were stunned. They thought that no matter what, Chumo would have to fight a big battle with the other party. However, this scene directly shattered their three views. The arrogant Dark Master was pulled out by the head. It looked like beating his son. This is too fierce. Ancient One's face was full of shock, her mouth wide open. She was completely scared. She knew Dormammu's strength very well. She studied it whenever she had nothing to do. However, although Chu Mo was powerful, Ancient One still seemed to be at the peak of the father level. It's only been a few days since I last saw him. His strength has risen to such a level. Is there any justice? Is there any humanity? Chu Mo can't care so much now. In a big battle above the sky, the entire earth may be destroyed if you are not careful. It's not worth it. He wants Dormammu to take him to the starry sky. That is their battlefield. Ah. Such a humiliating way, Dormammu, the ruler of darkness, is about to go crazy. I'm going to kill you. He was like a shrew cursing on the street. Humph. Kill me. You have to be qualified to do that. Chumo didn't indulge him at all. He stretched out his palm and shone it on his cheek. The crimson power turned into a huge palm. Pa 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 pa. More than a dozen big cunts were fooled in a row, and then they were beaten. Ouch. It hurts. Stark couldn't help but touch his cheek. Seeing Chu Mo's behavior, the Avengers suffered a lot in his hands. Such behavior is indeed very Chu Mo. This is a killing god. Thor thought of his madness when he first met Chu Mo. He couldn't help but feel very fortunate. At this time, Dormammu's head was buzzing. He didn't react for a long time. After a moment, he finally realized what this man did to him. Roar. The dark power that surged into the sky gathered and emerged. A huge fist condensed by the power of darkness rushed towards Chu Mo. Boom. A barrier burst out with brilliant light. Dormammu's full strength attack did not cause any effect on Chu Mo. It did not even break the barrier. Impossible. We are all single universe level beings. You can't be that strong. Dormammu shouted. He was shocked and couldn't believe it. Is the other party really a single universe level? Could it be some hidden boss? At this moment, Dormammu was scared. In an instant, the five elements of Chumo's body gathered together to form a huge net covering the sky and the earth, carrying Dormammu into the starry sky. I won't. Dormammu resisted desperately. Now he was terrified. It was obvious that Chumo was controlling the power to move the battlefield. If he waited until the battlefield was moved and the firepower was fully opened by then, Dormammu would have no chance of winning. With this planet as a shackle, the opponent dared not exert its powerful strength. Dormammu could still rely on something. Chumo pulled Dormammu's huge body into the sky, and Dormammu struggled desperately. They were both single universe level. Chumo's foundation was extremely deep, but he still felt very strenuous. Dormammu was like a pig to be slaughtered at this time. The two formed a brief standoff. But no matter how Dormammu struggled, his body still flew into the sky little by little. In just a few seconds, he immediately rose to the atmosphere. Fear appeared in Dormammu's eyes. I don't want it anymore. Just let me go now. Can we write it off? He was scared and his attitude softened. As long as Chumo let him go, he could sign a soul contract and never set foot in the 616 universe again. Now the, August 10th, is going back on its word. It's over. Chumo did not give in at all. He continued to lift him up. Ah. A huge battleship is floating in the sky above Mars, far away from the Earth. Thanos uses the camera of the battleship to feed back everything that happens on Earth. Gurgle. Ebony Ma couldn't help but roll his throat. He glanced at Thanos from time to time. Thanos, who was wearing armor and holding the tyrant blade, also felt his scalp tingling. He looked at the scene in disbelief. The shock in his heart was no less than that of Ebony Ma. That was the existence of a single universe. Being dragged into the starry sky like a dead dog. Sir, should we stay further away? One of the five generals of the Dark Knight, Proxima Centauri, spoke slowly. She was scared. What if that man found them? He would kill them in a matter of minutes. That makes sense. Thanos' fingers trembled, and he agreed with this proposal very much. In an instant, without Thanos' command, 
Ebony Ma drove the battleship and jumped quickly. Suddenly, he appeared outside the Milky Way. Huh. Thanos exhaled heavily. Now he felt a little safer. Their warships used the most advanced technology in the entire universe. Although they spanned the entire galaxy, the picture on the screen was not affected at all. It was just converted from 1080p to ultra-high definition. Father, we are going to Earth to grab the Time Stone and the Mind Stone. Nebula couldn't understand the battle on the screen. In her eyes, it was just a battle between two people. After she finished speaking, the entire battleship fell silent. No one spoke. Wait a little longer. Thanos raised his eyebrows. He was a little embarrassed. With their current strength, joining the battle between the two would be like lighting a lamp in the toilet, courting death. It is true that Thanos puts his destiny first. But he is not a fool. Above the earth, Chumo's speed is getting faster and faster. After leaving the earth, his speed is getting faster and faster. Dormammu saw that there was no hope of struggling, so he accepted his fate. A moment later, in the starry sky very close to Mars, the big net dissipated. Chumo stepped forward and punched Dormammu's head. Bang! Instantly, Dormammu's skull collapsed, and countless dark forces burst out from his head. Dormammu's body was made up of dark forces. He had no actual flesh. When the dark forces dissipated, it was the moment of his death. Chumo's fists kept beating on Dormammu's body. Every attack had the power of a starburst. Ah! Dormammu screamed. He just raised his hand to fight back, but he was met with another destructive punch. In just a short moment, one-third of his dark essence had been consumed. If he was allowed to fight for a while longer, Dormammu would have died here. Let's fight. He couldn't help but yelled. The forbidden method was used. Suddenly, Chumo seemed to sense something. His body quickly retreated. Dormammu was seen burning with black flames at some point. The fire of original sin. Chumo asked subconsciously. What is the fire of original sin? This is my forbidden power. Dormammu shouted, and he burned the source of darkness and finally ignited the forbidden fire. Feel the eternal death. A sky-high flame appeared around Dormammu. The starry sky within a radius of hundreds of thousands of miles was completely reduced to ashes. What forbidden fire? The fire of original sin. The fire of original sin. Why are you pretending to be so high and mighty? Chumo looked down on him. Playing with fire. He is even better at it. The fire power in his body erupted. A large domain word enveloped Dormammu. In an instant, the fire domain was opened. The black flame condensed by Dormammu was instantly extinguished. What's going on? He couldn't help but yelled. In the realm of fire. My fire is the fire of all things. Burn it for me. After Chumo finished speaking. Dormammu's body instantly turned red. Ah. It hurts. It hurts. He kept rolling in the starry sky. Such severe pain made him howl. Mom. I want to go home. Dormammu shouted. He was about to open the portal to another dimension and leave here. In an instant, a huge circular passage enveloped Dormammu. A huge suction force came out. He was about to leave here in the next second. How could Chumo do as he wished? The crimson power turned into a beam of light and went towards the black hole. Bang! The black transmission channel disappeared. Dormammu looked ashen. You! 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 With no hope of escape, his eyes revealed a look of determination. The source of darkness in his body continued to expand. His huge body began to swell. Self-destruction. Chumo retreated quickly. He didn't expect that Dormammu, who had always been a coward, could be so bloody. If Dormammu was allowed to self-destruct here, the entire galaxy might disappear in an instant. Chumo couldn't help but feel a little worried. The Earth is too fragile and can't withstand such an impact. Let's all die. The self-destruction is activated and cannot be interrupted. This is the most embarrassing time Dormammu has been forced. Want to self-destruct. It's not that easy. Chumo's mouth curved. An ancient rune flashed in his eyes and rushed straight towards Dormammu. Just when Dormammu was about to explode, the anti-life equation attacked. Whoosh! A puff of smoke rose, and Dormammu's huge body disappeared. Ding! Rescue mission completed. Do you want to claim your reward? The system's voice sounded. Chumo was stunned. The gate of travel. What is this thing? He couldn't help but ask in his heart. Ding! The portal of travel. 
With this portal, you can travel between the 600th world and the Marvel world as many times as you want, with an unlimited number of people, and you can carry items and people from both worlds. The number of people cannot exceed 20. Ha ha. The gate of time travel is indeed worthy of its reputation. From now on, I will be completely free. Chumo held back his laughter. Get it. Chumo muttered in his heart. In an instant, a stone door appeared in his body, side by side with the mother box. All the usage information rushed into Chumo's mind. After a moment, Chumo looked outside the distant Milky Way. His body disappeared immediately. Outside the Milky Way. Thanos stared at the big screen and couldn't help but take a step back. He saw me. He saw me. Thanos was horrified. The man just glanced at him from a distance. Thanos felt as if his whole body had been purged. Master, master. Ebony Ma patted Thanos' shoulder. If it were in the past, he wouldn't dare to do it even if he had 10,000 courage. But now Thanos seemed to be frightened. He looked panicked and pale. Because he was purple, the color was a little lighter. Ebony Ma was also unsure. After a moment, Thanos came back to his senses. There was still fear in his eyes. What is that? He couldn't help but ask subconsciously. They were watching with great interest. They saw Dormammu start to fight back. Unexpectedly, in less than a minute, the powerful Dormammu was killed. And the man's eyes only shot out a symbol of yellow light. Master, that may be something we haven't understood yet. Ebony Ma was in a very heavy mood. With this level of protection on Earth, Thanos' destiny will never be fulfilled. Alas, let's go back to Titan. At this time, Thanos had serious self-doubt. Thanos has been pursuing the infinite gems in the universe. He believed that it was the most powerful force in the universe, which could restore the balance of the entire universe. However, today, he saw the ancient symbol. Although separated by a screen, Thanos still felt very scared. It was the sixth sense that came from his bones. He had never seen, let alone heard of such a powerful force. It could instantly turn a single universe-level existence into ashes. This was beyond his imagination. He instantly felt that the infinite gems he was pursuing were not so good. He even wondered if his so-called destiny was a mistake. In the Time Management Bureau, Kong kept traveling through the various timelines of the 616 universe, looking for Chumo's figure. Finally, he traveled through countless timelines. In Sokovia, he found the place where Chumo first appeared. In a ruin, Kong repeatedly watched the time image. His brows were deeply furrowed. This man's means exceeded his expectations. Kong originally thought that he had come through with some kind of treasure, but he didn't expect that his real body was condensed in this world. And the man looked down at his wrist from time to time. The place and time displayed on it made Kong look very frightened. Gotham City. A very familiar name. Kong couldn't help but ponder secretly. After a while, he came to a conclusion. The name of Gotham City only appeared in comics, which was very similar to Marvel. There were many superheroes, Superman, Batman and some other heroes. There was a world called DC. Kong took out a comic book from another timeline. He flipped through it quickly. The more he read, the more solemn his expression became. Superman, Observer, and Darkseid in the 600th world were very similar to those in the Marvel world. But it's just a comic book. Kong Baisi was puzzled. And he didn't find anything related to men in the comic book. He flipped through it again. A brand new comic book appeared in front of him. It was printed with a big villain in the 600th world. A yellow ancient rune bloomed in his eyes. Anti-life equation. Kong muttered to himself. His body flashed and appeared in the timeline of the Fire Kingdom. The symbol shot out from Chumo's eyes killed the Time Demon soldiers. Kong stared at the comic book and compared it repeatedly. Huh. Finally, he exhaled heavily. The man was definitely from the comic world of the 600th world. This result was too terrifying. He couldn't help but go and study this matter with those multiverse selves. However, thinking of the anti-life equation carried by the man, he was silent. Once known by those multiverse selves. Then this cake also means to share it equally with everyone. The others don't matter. Pharaoh, eternity, space, those are not easy to deal with. Kong returned to the Time Administration Bureau 3.7. Some answers gradually surfaced. Hem. Kong stood up instantly. The timeline of 616 had changed a little. 
He followed the timeline and observed. Dormammu. How come he's here so soon? Kong was slightly stunned. Then, Chu Mo's figure appeared. Kong became excited instantly. He appears again. He appears again. I not only want to get the anti-life equation. I also want to know all the secrets of that man. He had a hunch that if he understood all the secrets of that man, he might become the one who dominated the entire multiverse. He might even face the life tribunal face to face. Kang's figure quickly disappeared and appeared near Mars. Hem. The battle is over. He paused for a moment and looked towards the earth. I hope he hasn't left yet. Kong flashed and disappeared into the starry sky. Avengers Tower. Hila quietly told everything after he left. After a moment, Chu Mo had understood everything. Is Lao Ao dead? Or has his soul been taken away by the living tribunal? All of them. Hila didn't know how to explain. Odin was first broken into pieces, and then his soul was taken away. If I don't take revenge, I will not be a human being. Thor slammed the table hard. In an instant, the table, which weighed tens of thousands of yuan, broke into pieces. Reckless man. Chu Mo rolled his eyes at him. It seemed that he had been targeted by Conqueror Kong. And it was the guy who controlled the Time Management Bureau. He was not his opponent yet. And there were too many ties around him. He needed to deal with them one by one. I want to take you away from this world. Are you willing? Chu Mo tried to ask. Leave. Wanda's eyes showed surprise. Is it us? Or Wanda and the others? Stark felt the need to ask clearly. Chu Mo glanced around. There were only nine Avengers now, including Wanda and Quicksilver. His portal could carry 20 people. More than enough. Yes. Everyone, including Agent Hill. Chu Mo glanced at her. Suddenly, Agent Hill's cheeks were hot. She thought Chu Mo had forgotten her. What on earth happened? Nick Fury was puzzled. The enemy is very strong. I am not sure I can deal with him now. I can only send you to a safe place first. Chu Mo was a little helpless. He didn't know when he started to regard these people as friends. In the past, this was unimaginable. Conqueror Kong controlled time, and he could definitely travel through various timelines. This was very bad news for him. He might even destroy the Earth directly. Where to go? Stark was a little excited. He was also very curious about Chu Mo's origins. 600th world. Chu Mo spoke. What? Captain America was shocked. Bang. Natasha dropped her glass in shock. She couldn't believe it. Brother-in-law. You seem to be mistaken. That is a comic book world. Thor thought he was drunk. All the Avengers looked at Chu Mo collectively. But my children are all here. Barton thought about it and was ready to refuse. If I leave you here alone, it will be even more dangerous. Chu Mo spoke slowly. Patton, he liked him very much. And he knew very well that Conqueror Kong would kill everyone he knew. Okay. I agree. After thinking for a moment, Patton felt that what Chu Mo said about taxis made sense. Then when do we leave? Brother-in-law. Quicksilver doesn't care, he is just a little follower. As long as Wanda and Chu Mo are together, it doesn't matter where he goes. As soon as possible. Better now. Chu Mo's voice was a little hurried. The mother box in his body trembled slightly, and a panicked feeling came over him. Obviously, this was the mother box giving him a warning. So urgent. Nick Fury was also a little nervous at this time. They all saw Chu Mo's fighting power. The enemy who could make him so serious must be extraordinary. Let's go. Alas. Captain America said, I don't know when, as the guardians of the earth, they have become a burden. How ironic. Chu Mo stood aside and directly summoned the portal in his body. Boom. A huge stone door stood in the living room. They were not surprised. As long as it was something Chu Mo made, it was normal. Even the Avengers had begun to get used to it. Ding, host, please tell me about the world and universe you traveled through in the past. Huh. Chu Mo was shocked. Can this portal also travel to other universes and timelines? He couldn't help but ask in the heart of the sect. The portal can reach any universe and timeline of Marvel. But it cannot change the events that have already happened in the timeline. The explanation of the system is more comprehensive than the introduction. Oh my god. Chu Mo was very excited. That meant that when he came to the Marvel world in the future, he would not have to come to this universe but could directly reach other universes. Of course, the same was true for the 600th world. This door was too valuable. 
As he knew, even some multiverse-level beings, or even higher beings, had great restrictions on going to other universes. But now, he could completely ignore it. Ong. The mother box in his body kept shaking. Chu Mo understood that it must be the conqueror Kong who was coming soon. They are so hungry that they don't care what they eat. Chu Mo complained. Then he arranged for these people to enter the stone gate. 600th world, Gotham City, planet building. Chu Mo gave orders to the stone door. In an instant, an ancient and vast aura flowed out of the stone door, and a blue vortex in the center of the door kept spinning. Who will be the first? Stark looked around and wanted to be the first to try it. I'll do it. Quicksilver was the first to come out and instantly disappeared into the vortex. Just kidding. Go to his brother-in-law's world, he must be the first. Hurry up. Wanda said to Chu Mo lovingly. She also disappeared into the stone gate. It was very fast below. Gila, Thor, Natasha, Barton, Captain America, Nick Fury. They came in one after another. The mother box in Chu Mo's body trembled even more violently, as if it was about to fly away at any time. Here we go. Get in. Chu Mo shouted. Iron Man and Pepper went in without hesitation, followed by Agent Hill. Heimdall also went in. His prejudice against Chumo had vanished with the death of Odin. At this moment, Heimdall only had deep admiration in his heart. The moment Heimdall went in, Conqueror Kong also arrived at the scene. Finally found you. Kong smiled. Wait a minute, Chumo said. Well, Kong doesn't understand. Conqueror Kong, look at my mouth shape. Chumo smiled slightly. GNMB, gone with you. What does it mean? Kong didn't understand. While he was thinking, Chumo stepped into the door. Before leaving, he made a middle finger gesture, with an unusually arrogant attitude. Kong didn't understand the spoken language, but he was very familiar with this gesture. Ants. Kang's body flashed with blue light, and he was about to attack. Chumo completely stepped in at this time. As he entered, the portal disappeared into the Avengers base. Boom. Kang's blue energy attack also exploded at this time. Suddenly, the entire Avengers base turned into a sea of fire. Ran away. He actually ran away. Kong was so angry that he was fuming. I one half I one half I one half he was very angry. He searched countless timelines and finally figured out the other party's cards. But the other party ran away under his nose. He also laughed at him deeply. I will destroy this planet and this starry sky. Kong was furious. The energy in his hand was about to destroy the earth. Suddenly, several uninvited guests came. A mysterious energy bloomed in their bodies. The leader was a woman, wearing a robe, long golden hair, romantic lips, and a maternal breath filled the air. Eternals. Kang's expression was icy. The leading woman looked nervous. She didn't expect such a powerful enemy to come, and she didn't know this person at all. The aura exuded by the other party was extremely terrifying. People couldn't help but tremble. Earth, you can't destroy it. The blonde said. For the sake of the celestial gods, let's forget about it this time. Kong said, and flew into the sky. The people of the eternal group breathed a sigh of relief when they saw him leave. He knows about the celestials. A sturdy Asian man walked up to them. The blonde woman didn't say anything, but a solemn look appeared in her eyes. 600th world. Planet building. A group of people appeared on the roof of the planet building. Where's my brother? Why hasn't he come in yet? Wanda's eyes showed worry. Gila clenched her fists, her brows full of tension. She had seen how powerful the man from the Time Management Bureau was. The more this happened, the more worried she became. She had already lost her father in Asgard. If she lost Chumo again, Gila would really collapse. A group of people didn't speak. They waited quietly. In just a dozen seconds, they felt very heavy. If Chumo had an accident, anyone here would feel guilty for the rest of their lives. That man, although he was not a superhero, he was a superhero of life and death. Swish. A figure walked out of the passage. The moment he appeared, the portal disappeared. He reappeared. He was already inside Chumo's body. Phew. We were scared to death. Stark was very nervous. That's right. I thought something happened. Saul smiled. Chumo glanced at them, his mouth curved and a smile flowed out. Welcome to my world, my precious little princess. Ah. Don't bite my kidneys. 
Quicksilver cooperated very well. Ha 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 ha. Too funny. Don't you look at your kidneys. Ha ha. The tense atmosphere was swept away. Is this the 600th world? Our world is no different. Captain America said in a loud voice. Yes. And I read comics, and I know that superheroes in the 600th world are all very poor. Stark glanced at Chumo and didn't dare to continue. He was a little worried, what if his words hurt Chumo? The Avengers all had serious expressions on their faces. Almost all of them had read comics in the 600th world and had some understanding of this world. After all, superheroes are paupers, and this concept is preconceived. Thinking of the blackmail he put on the Avengers when he first met Chu Mo. It seems to be really linked to poverty. It's okay. With my scientific brain, it will take you a few minutes to make money. Stark didn't know how to comfort him. He could only say what was in his heart. Chu Mo smiled but didn't say anything. At this time, Clark came up in a security uniform. Second uncle. You're back. Second uncle. Looking at the man who was older than Chu Mo, Hila couldn't help but murmur. Alas, Chu Mo is in trouble. With such a strong strength, he still has to pretend to be poor in the 600th world. Even his nephew is working as a security guard. Captain America feels a little distressed. Don't worry, brother, I will work hard to make money for you. Wanda blushed and looked risky. And me, brother-in-law, Thor also showed his strength. He walked in front of Chu Mo and whispered. How about brother-in-law? Let's open a bath city in this world. Bathing on the first floor, SAP on the second floor, and health care on the third floor. Get lost. Gila glared at him unhappily. After thinking for a long time, she had no words of comfort. She could only gently touch Chumo's face to express her feelings. Heimdall also came forward. He glanced at Clark, with some envy in his eyes. Actually, security is a job you don't need your nephew to do. I can do it too. What? Clark instantly became wary of this black man. A job with a monthly salary of 20,000. You want to replace me? No way. It seems that we need to find an opportunity. Let this little black guy lie down for a few days. Nick Fury also walked up to him. He wanted to say something but stopped. He thought for a long time but still didn't say it. He slowly unzipped his pants, revealing a pair of pink underwear. There was also a horizontal zipper on the underwear. Clark's eyes were wide open. As a man, he didn't expect to meet a man with the same interests today. This kind of person can be made friends. Nick Fury slowly unzipped it and took out a thick stack of Yida banknotes from it. There was some reluctance in his eyes. After hesitating for a moment, he handed it to Chu Mo. This is my treasure. I only have so much. Brother. Just take it. Nick Fury looked serious. Chumo looked at it with disdain and felt particularly disgusted. There was a curved hair in the middle of the stack of super photos. Ah, Chumo couldn't stand it anymore. However, at this moment, a hand reached out very quickly and snatched it away. I-247 thank you on behalf of my second uncle. Clark smiled. Ah, this kid reacts so quickly. Nick Fury couldn't help but praise him. At this time, Chumo was speechless about them. What do these idiots think of themselves? Let's go. Come to my house and have a seat. Chu Mo invited. The Avengers followed Chu Mo downstairs. Ding. The elevator opened. The soldiers guarding the door suddenly looked solemn. They raised their hands and saluted quickly. Hello, President. Their voices were powerful. They immediately startled the people behind them. I think I heard it wrong. Stark shook his head. Me too. Me too. I one half I one half Chumo walked towards the office. At this time, a dark shadow was waiting anxiously at the door. When he saw Chumo coming, a look of surprise appeared on his face. Hey, my president dad. You are finally back. Obama trotted along, his posture unusually low, like a butler. This time the Avengers behind him were stunned on the spot. What do they call Chumo? President. Is there something wrong with my ears? Nick Fury looked at Natasha beside him. Gulu. Stark couldn't help swallowing his saliva. Chu Mo is the president. Ah. Wanda screamed. At this time, the Avengers thought that the Joker was themselves. In an instant, everyone in the office looked at this group of people. Hey. That person looks so familiar. Does he look like Iron Man from Marvel Comics? 
And the yellow-haired guy, do you think he looks like Thor? It's a pity that he doesn't have the hammer, otherwise he would look more like Thor. Look at that woman, do you think she wants to be Natasha the Black Widow? Look, there's also the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. The man wearing glasses couldn't be Dr. Banner. The Avengers were stunned. Stark couldn't help but scream in his heart, are we the ones in the comics or are they all? At this moment, he was blinded. Thor's neck shrank back. A terrible imagination was brewing in their minds. Their three views were shattered. Is it true? Hela's eyes were full of disappointment. This is a matter of inertia. No matter who you are, you don't want to be a virtual character. Come in. Don't worry, I will explain it to you clearly. Chumo spoke with a warm face. People who are familiar with Chumo know that as long as he shows this smile, the ending is almost never good. Nara. Chumo called out. Dear boss, I miss you so much. Nara's big, lively eyes kept blinking. When she came, she had seen that there were several super beauties in this group of people, and each of them was very beautiful. Especially the red-haired girl. Her career line was unfathomable. Nara's sense of crisis increased again. Go to the street and buy some Marvel comics. Chumo said solemnly. Okay. Nora went out quickly. The Avengers didn't understand what was going on, and they had a bad feeling in their hearts. Are we? Hela was a little uncertain. That's right. You are all characters in the comics. Chumo smiled. Huh. Captain America was prepared, but still couldn't help being surprised. Alas. Stark was a little annoyed. Yi looked out the window. She thought she knew the world well enough. Unexpectedly, she was also a virtual character. Not long after, Nora appeared with a few thick comics. They were a little impatient and started to read. Stark flipped through the pages quickly, and his eyes became more and more frightened. Love you three thousand times. Pepper watched with him. When they saw that they had a daughter, they smiled at each other and felt happy. After a while, Stark closed the comic book. Call. With a mortal body, I can stand shoulder to shoulder with gods. He showed a proud look on his face. I have sixteen forms. Dr. Banner muttered to himself. Yes. Chumo nodded in affirmation. I'm so strong. Dr. Banner said proudly. It's not you who is strong. It's Hulk who is strong. Barton did not forget to hit him. It doesn't matter. According to the comic, I will be a multiverse level existence in the future. Banner didn't care. Oh yeah. I knew it. I knew it. Saul kept shouting. A group of people were attracted to him. I am Thor. Not Hammer Hammer. And my future weapon is Stormbreaker. Thor's eyes were full of expectation. And Hela's deeds are extremely simple. She is at her peak when she appears. In the comics, after coming out of Helheim, she went to Asgard and finally died at the hands of Searcher. However, reality has completely changed through Chumo's intervention. It's just that she has no strength at all now. Just like an ordinary person. Alas. I am unwilling to accept this. Hela is still upset about losing her power. Don't worry. It won't last long. I will help you regain your original strength. Chumo comforted her. Yeah. Hela didn't say anything, but looked at him tenderly. Wanda flipped through the comic book, becoming more and more frightened. She couldn't help asking Chumo. Bro. Am I really that awesome? Ha ha. Our Wanda is the strongest. Chumo's eyes were full of doting. So scary. But who is this Wanchi? It's really disgusting. How could I fall in love with a robot? Wanda patted her chest and was a little afraid to look at Chumo. Don't worry about those details, they are all in the past. Chumo comforted him. After a while, the Avengers read through all of them. Some of them were in deep thought, some were excited, and some were disappointed. Brother-in-law. Quicksilver was a little unhappy. His ending was the simplest, he was shot to death while saving someone. This made him very unhappy. He was the fastest man, but he was shot to death. This setting was too bad. There are always people better than you. There are always better things. Ancient One closed the comic book. She had no feelings about her ending. Okay. Now that you've finished reading it, let's get down to business. Chumo touched her chin. Ever since she stole Dormammu's dark power, she was no longer so afraid of death. The Avengers stood up straight in an instant, waiting for their next fate. During this period of time, everyone stays in this world first, 
and when the problem of Conqueror Kong is solved, we will go to the Marvel world. Chu Mo glanced around and said what he was thinking. They thought for a moment and all agreed with Chu Mo's statement. After all, in the comics, Conqueror Kong is very powerful. One finger can shatter the stars, and his strength has surpassed the multiverse level. It has reached an extremely high level. Moreover, Conqueror Kong is a very powerful existence in countless multiverses. Pharaoh, Eternity, Space, Time. They control many multiverses. It is best not to provoke them now. Boom boom boom. There's a knock on the door. Come in. Chumo glanced casually and knew who the person was. Obaba walked over with a heavy face. Mr. President, there is a huge matter that needs your solution. You say. Chumo felt a little tired. He originally wanted to be a hands-off shopkeeper. But some things were not something he could just get rid of. The sea area of Sakura country. It has been attacked by hundreds of nuclear bombs. Now something strange has happened. Obaba's eyes are unusually solemn. What strange thing happened? Chumo couldn't help asking. Whenever the ships passed by there, the innocent crew members disappeared. And some of the crew members who managed to return went crazy. Obaba reported in one breath and looked at Chu Mo. Those things are really not peaceful. Even death is not peaceful. Chu Mo complained. He couldn't help but murmur in his heart. Is it a ghost? This shouldn't be the case. Many people die in this world every day, and I haven't heard of any ghosts. Suddenly, he remembered the battle with Satan, the Lord of Hell, a few days ago. There's something weird over there. I'll go check it out. Good. Obaba's heart was relieved. With Chu Mo's help, everything was a piece of cake. As the strongest man in the universe, Obaba had a natural blind admiration for him. Let's go too. Stark looked at him inquiringly. Although they knew a little about this world through Marvel Comics, they wanted to see it in person. Chu Mo glanced at them and thought about it. It wasn't a dangerous place. It would be okay to take them there to have a look. Okay. But everyone needs to wear radiation protection armor. Yeah. Thor shouted excitedly. They were about to start exploring this world, how could they not be excited? The Sakura Island was now an endless expanse of water. After hundreds of nuclear bombs, the island had completely become history. Huge amounts of radiation filled the sea area of more than 100,000 kilometers. Some of the wandering fish had mutated. Above the sea, there was a continuous drizzle, which was out of tune with the sunny weather around. Hush. Chumo whistled towards the sea. Suddenly the calm water surface began to churn. Splash. Godzilla stood up from the water with his head held high. The bones on his back glowed blue and red. Oh my god. Stark was startled and flew up into the sky subconsciously. What kind of monster is this? Thor looked nervous. He had never seen such a huge monster since he was a child. Gulu. Natasha looked nervous. She had never thought that this world was so dangerous. She could encounter such a monster just by going out to sea. Brother. It's so fierce. Wanda slipped into Chu Mo's arms, her body trembling. However, there was no trace of fear in her eyes. Gila looked at Wanda jealously and couldn't help complaining in her heart. Bah. Who said this is a simple-minded girl? She is obviously a green tea. Ha ha. Chumo laughed and was about to explain. At this time, Stark's screams came from the sky. Ah. Quick. Run. There are more in the sky. Everyone looked up, and their faces became tense. In the sky, a monster with three dragon heads and wings on its back was coming towards them. And right in front of it was Stark who was desperately running away. Oh my god. Is this really the 600th world? Natasha felt that her brain was not enough. Don't panic, everyone. Chumo comforted him. Ghidorah arrived in front of Chumo. The Avengers hurriedly evacuated. Brother-in-law, run. Saul, the sixth brother, couldn't help but remind. Ha ha. Chumo laughed and said nothing. The next second, in the eyes of everyone's shock, the monster in the sky slowly lowered its head. It kept rubbing against Chumo's feet. I forgot to introduce them to you. These are my mounts. Ghidorah and Godzilla. Chumo smiled. On the calm sea, Ghidorah was flying close to the sea. Below was Godzilla, with its dorsal fin exposed, swimming in the water. Everyone stood on Ghidorah's back. The Avengers, eyes were full of disbelief. Chumo really shocked them completely. 
They didn't expect that these two huge monsters were actually Chumo's mounts. Too cool. Quicksilver couldn't help but admire. Looking at the back of the man in front, his eyes were full of admiration. Yes. My brother-in-law is really not an ordinary person. Saul was very envious. Their fighting power is very strong. Although Hila has lost her power, her vision is very unique. Now Ji Yuyi feels like a clown. Chumo slapped them in the face again and again. They thought Chumo was poor, but they didn't expect him to be the president. There is a sub-sky level peak mount just outside the door. Who can do it? Ghidorah and Godzilla are very fast. After a while, they reached the Cherry Blossom Sea area. Stop. Chumo gave an order. Ghidorah hovered in the air, and Godzilla also stopped marching. Chumo frowned, and he looked at the sea with confusion in his eyes. Wanda had the same expression as Chumo at this time. She clenched her palms tightly, with a look of tension on her face. What happened? Thor was puzzled. Why did it stop? He looked at the sea ahead and found nothing wrong. Something is wrong. Hela stared at the sea area. Although she didn't see anything, her intuition as the goddess of death told her that it was very dangerous. What on earth is this? Ji Yuyi was sweating profusely, with fear flashing in his eyes. Soul. Chumo spoke slowly. In his eyes, countless souls were wailing in pain in that sea area. The number was so large that it made people's scalps numb. Moreover, all these souls had red eyes, constantly biting and devouring each other. The majestic radiation power was lingering in it. The densely packed souls were slowly changing. How come there are so many? Almost hundreds of millions. How did they die? Ji Yuyi couldn't help but ask. I killed him. Chumo didn't hide it and blurted out. What? You killed him. Ji Yuyi couldn't help but feel her scalp tingling. Although she had known Chumo for a short time, she knew him for sure. He was not a person who killed indiscriminately. Why? Wanda couldn't help asking. Chumo looked at the densely packed souls, without a trace of regret in his heart. Because they deserved to die. So they were killed. No reason. They could hear something unusual in Chumo's tone. But no one asked any more questions. So many souls. How to deal with them? Chumo had a headache for a while. The Sakura country had perished. They also received the punishment they deserved. But what Chumo didn't expect was that the huge radiation affected the souls. And these souls had mutated. Waves of pure killing desire came, rushing straight into the heart. I want to give it a try. Hila said, her eyes shining with a different light. How to deal with it? Chumo had no way to deal with these souls. They gathered here, and it would definitely be a huge hidden danger if they stayed here for a long time. It was unrealistic to ask Chumo to save them. He would not do it. Feeling sorry for the souls of the Sakura country was no different from animals. If they are all in soul state, I will see if I can absorb them. After all, I am the goddess of death. Hila was a little excited at this time. That's billions. Are you sure you can do it? Sister. Wanda was a little surprised. Since the two of them broke up, they have been sisters. Such nutrients. It's enough for me to recover my strength. Maybe even reach a higher level. Hila did not hide her thoughts and told Chu Mo. Yes, baby. As long as you are willing. These souls are yours, just as a gift from the king. Chu Mo joked. Hearing the word, dowry, Hela's cheeks instantly blushed. Ji Yuyi wanted to say something else, but when she saw Chu Mo's eyes, she shut up instantly. She was the supreme mage, and her main purpose was to save lives. She also knew what Hila was thinking. Once she absorbed so many souls, her strength would definitely change dramatically. It was not certain that she could even advance to the single universe level. The only consequence was that these souls would completely disappear. But if she stopped it, it would be bad luck for Chu Mo. No matter how much courage Ji Yuyi had, she would not dare. I need your help. Hila walked up to Chu Mo. Her eyebrows were rippling, and she looked like a little woman. Yes. How can a husband not help his wife to regain her strength? Then, Hila and Chumo discussed. After a moment, Chumo also understood. It turned out that Hila wanted to carve a huge magic circle here. She was in the center of the magic circle. These souls were ground into pure soul power by the magic circle for her to absorb. Of course, it is best to use the crimson power to carve the magic circle. 
Gila kept reminding, and with Wanda's help. It took a full five hours for the complex magic circle carved by the crimson power to take shape. Gila stood in the center of the magic circle and instantly opened. Boom. The crimson power ignited a red light. Those densely packed souls also completely appeared. Oh my gosh. So many. Oh my god. My sister wins this time. The Avengers looked at the souls in the sky. They felt a chill down their spines. A trace of worry flashed in Chumo's eyes. Although there were many souls, they were all mutants. What if Gila couldn't bear it? Let's get started. Gila gave Chumo a reassuring look. In an instant, the souls in the sky turned into a torrent and rushed towards the center of the magic circle. The magic circle carved by the crimson power ignited with light. Complex runes bloomed with great power that could reach the sky. In less than a second, tens of thousands of souls were crushed by the magic circle. It turned into a pure energy and rushed towards Gila. Boom. Gila's aura instantly increased. In the blink of an eye, she entered the earth level. It feels so good. Gila closed her eyes and felt the power in her body. The feeling of picking up power was so wonderful that it was indescribable. Gila silently felt the power in her body. So pure. The level of death energy is even higher. Gila was extremely surprised. Thor looked at Gila whose strength was constantly improving. He was extremely envious. Brother-in-law. I also want to improve my strength. Thor looked over eagerly. Chumo rolled his eyes. He was speechless. He couldn't help but think of the thunder power hidden in Thor's body. He completely inherited Odin's talent. It stands to reason that he should be extremely powerful. But this idiot can't awaken his power unless he experiences great pain. And this guy has read the comics. He also understands the thunder power hidden in his body, but no matter what, he can't awaken it. Take your time. Wait for your chance. Chumo said unhappily. Ah. Uh, okay. Thor was envious, but he also knew that this opportunity was hard to come by. Lipyuwu. A girl with golden eyes closed had beads of sweat on her forehead. Her face was extremely ugly, and her body was shaking constantly. Constantine, who was standing next to her, looked nervous. He was a little worried at this time. The girl was the one he saw in the church. After a brief acquaintance, he knew the girl's name. Angela. The most important thing is that Angela has an extremely powerful power in her body. That power can communicate with spirits and occasionally foresee the future. After a moment. Huh. Angela's eyes opened instantly. She stroked her shoulders and thighs with both hands. They are all still there. From this simple sentence, we can imagine that she must have encountered something extremely terrible. How is it? Constantine's face showed some expectation. Angela shook her head. I still can't feel heaven. And I was just strangled by a powerful demon. He is very strong. He is coming here. Angela touched her neck. Constantine's expression changed. Two black five-finger handprints slowly appeared on her white neck. What level of demon? It can actually cross layers of space to cause harm to her. Constantine couldn't help but exclaimed. I don't know. He holds a spear. Wherever he passes, all life disappears. Angela said with lingering fear. What's even more terrible is that he is rushing here. 153 inches what? Constantine almost jumped up. He has the ability to exorcise demons, but it also depends on what kind of demon it is. If it is an ordinary little Karami, sending them back to hell is understandable. However, demons of this level are simply beyond his range of dealing with. And it is obvious that the demon has not awakened yet. It is only in the state of possession. If it is completely revived and awakened, then the whole world will probably have no opponent. There is one more thing. Angela didn't know whether to say it or not. You tell me. Constantine asked hurriedly. After hesitating for a moment. Angela finally spoke out. I sensed the presence of another demon, and she was similar to the one that came here. What are its characteristics? Constantine asked. In the sea, long black hair, countless souls, and a red magic circle. Angela could only provide this information. It was a woman, and a red light was blooming around her body. Countless souls were ruthlessly crushed and turned into a torrent rushing towards the woman's body. She was devouring those souls. Angela hadn't recovered yet. Constantine frowned at this time. He really couldn't imagine what kind of scene it was. There is another man. He found me. He found me. Angela murmured to herself. It's okay. 
Constantine patted her shoulder and comforted her. Sakura C. Hela's aura continued to grow. The pinnacle of Earth class. Initial stage of sub-celestial level. Mid-level sub-celestial grade. Sub-celestial high level. In less than a day, she had reached the Father Heaven level. Chumo stared at her intently. Although it seemed that Hila would not be affected by the outside world, he was still a little worried. Suddenly, Chumo frowned. He looked behind Hila. The sea there was calm, without a trace of change. But he sensed that there was a pair of eyes peeping. How interesting. It seems that there are many powerful people hidden on earth. Chumo stared at the pair of peeping eyes. It was a woman, and her state was very strange. It seemed that she was in another space. I want to see who you are. Chumo took a step forward and appeared in front of the peeping eyes. Ah. The woman screamed and disappeared completely. Hem. Ordinary people. Chumo was stunned for a moment. He, Dob, didn't understand why an ordinary person could enter another space to spy on. Humph. No matter who you are. I have to take a look. Chumo was determined not to allow any potential danger to happen. The crimson power in his body condensed and struck at the empty space in front of him. Boom. The space shattered, and Chumo entered it. As Chumo entered, the shattered space healed. What is my brother-in-law doing? Thor asked in confusion. There's someone spying there. He went after them. Wanda explained. She also felt the prying eyes, but not as accurate as Chumo's. Alas. Ji Yu Yi glanced at the shattered souls. In Lipuwu, in an apartment. Constantine was still comforting the woman in his arms. He was very anxious. The demons of hell were ready to move and were rushing here. Why did he come here? Constantine couldn't figure it out. Gabriel. It's time to go out. Constantine muttered to himself. Suddenly, the air in front of him was distorted. Bang. The space shattered, and a figure stepped forward. Ah. Angela screamed in fear. Constantine immediately took out the pistol from his waist. Bang, bang, bang. A magazine of bullets was used up in an instant. Constantine looked forward. His brows knitted instantly. The man was unharmed, looking at him with a grim look in his eyes. He was wearing white casual clothes, with a tall figure, short black hair, and a melancholy temperament. He had the face of an extremely handsome oriental man. And this look was very familiar to Constantine. Wasn't it the new president he saw on the big screen a few days ago? His name seemed to be Chu Mo. It's him. Angela kept shouting. She was very scared. That man, he came over. Constantine protected Angela behind him. He pointed the gun at the other party. Mr. President, we don't seem to have a festival. He was very nervous. With Chu Mo's strength, he shattered the space. Such a powerful strength. Constantine had only seen it in those strong men. And none of them were good. Do you know me? Chu Mo was slightly stunned. Come to think of it. Now I can be the president. And not long ago, I destroyed the Sakura country. Although I have only appeared briefly a few times, my popularity is very high. What's your name? Chu Mo looked at him and felt familiar, but he just couldn't remember it. Kong. Constantine. Shit. It's you. Chu Mo understood. No wonder he looked so familiar, it was him. Where's your cigarette? Chu Mo asked with a malicious look. Quit smoking. Constantine was a little speechless. What the hell is this? I have lung cancer. How can I not quit smoking? What a pity. Chu Mo curled his lips. He glanced at the woman behind him. She was blonde, blue-eyed, fair-skinned, and looked panicked. This must be Angela. Chu Mo said. Do you know me? At this moment, Angela was like a fertilized rabbit. Ah, uh, I guess we know each other. As long as I don't understand. Why are you spying on us? Chu Mo's tone was full of questioning. I. Angela was about to explain. There was a loud bang and the wall exploded. Ah. Angela screamed and flew towards the broken place. The speed was incredibly fast. Chu Mo didn't react at once. His brows knitted instantly. This famous scene in the movie actually happened in front of him. He was a little unbelievable for a moment. Son of Lucifer, Mammon is coming. Chu Mo slowly said. Mammon. Constantine was still in shock. He wanted to chase, but the suction was too fast. In less than a second, he didn't recover at all. Hearing the word Mammon. Constantine's face changed drastically. He has been dealing with the devils of hell for many years. Naturally, he knew what the name meant. 
the son of Satan, Mammon. Possessing unparalleled strength, he always wanted to dominate the world. But he didn't understand why the other party took Angela away. He looked at Chu Mo, his eyes full of seeking advice. When Chu Mo came in, he had already performed mind reading. What Constantine was thinking, of course, was clear. Angela is a very powerful psychic. She is considered the most powerful being on earth. So what? Constantine had a bad feeling. She also has a dead sister. She is also a powerful medium. Her soul is already in hell. Mammon, hell, medium. Constantine suddenly thought of something. He hurriedly took out an ancient book from the shelf. He kept flipping through it. His eyes fell on the page in the middle. There was a picture of a demon there. There was a detailed introduction on it. Son of Satan, Mammon. No need to look at it. Chumo rolled his eyes. This kid still doesn't believe me. After a moment. Constantine collapsed to the ground helplessly. He had completely figured it out. Mammon was going to come to the world. The strength of the son of Satan was at least at the peak of the single universe level, and Constantine had no strength to fight against it. After a simple thought, he decided to go to the church to find the Archangel Gabriel. At present, he was the only one who could do it. As for Chu Mo, they had no relationship at all. It was a blessing that the other party didn't kill him. As for asking him for help, Constantine didn't think about it at all. I advise you not to look for Gabriel. Chu Mo shrugged helplessly. Huh. Constantine was a little confused. Why did Chu Mo say that? When the son of Mammon came to the world, the only one he could rely on was Gabriel. If he didn't ask Gabriel for help, who else could he ask for help? Chu Mo. It was totally unrealistic. Seeing Constantine's expression, Chu Mo raised his eyebrows helplessly. The other party didn't say anything, so why should he help him? And according to the ending of the movie, Constantine will solve this trouble in the end. Although the process is a bit tortuous. But this guy's operation is really awesome. Summoning Satan and sending his soul to heaven did not succeed. In the end, he forced Satan to cure his cancer. Chumo still admires Constantine very much. It's nothing, I am leaving first. By the way, call me if you have anything to say. Chumo then wrote his office phone number on the wall with his finger. The crimson power was activated, and a portal opened. He took a step and disappeared. Alas. Constantine sighed helplessly. He looked at the phone number on the wall. Then he took out a cigarette from his pocket and stared at it for about half a minute. Pop. The flames ignited. Hiss. He took a deep breath. The taste of nicotine is still so tempting. Constantine murmured. He has let it go. It doesn't matter if the soul goes to hell or heaven. Solving Mammon is more important than anything else. Although he doesn't know why Chumo doesn't let him find Gabriel. But he still wants to try. It's related to the safety of the entire world, he will not give up. In the sea area of Sakura country, Ghidorah floats on the water, and Godzilla floats quietly on the sea. The magic circle created by the crimson power is still dissipated. Gila floats in the air. A strong breath emanates. The Avengers are terrified. Half step to the universe level. Gu Yi's body trembled. More than 100 million souls were all absorbed by Gila. Her power not only returned, but also reached a higher level. Now only Chu Mo can suppress her. Now Gila is basically invincible. Gila silently felt the power in her body. This is a new energy. It is more powerful than before. And there is a radiation force in the energy. The body flew up and appeared in the starry sky in an instant. The speed is more than twice as fast as before. Looking at the stars in the distance. Gila punched. Bang. A huge fist shadow rushed straight towards one of the stars in the Milky Way. In an instant, the star, which was much larger than the Earth, exploded. Congratulations. You've recovered your strength. A familiar voice sounded from behind. Gila turned her head and looked at the handsome man. Her face suddenly became extremely shy. Thank you. She instantly threw herself into the man's arms. The stars were brilliant, with endless brilliance. The two chatted heart to heart. After a whole day, they were returning to the sea. At this time, the Avengers were waiting for so long. Gila had disappeared for so long. Chumo had just returned and also went to the starry sky. Brother-in-law. Thor shouted when he saw the two of them. Wanda looked at them. Hela's face was still shy. She instantly understood what was going on. 
Her eyes were filled with resentment. Lit you woo. Constantine and a little boy rushed into a building with a shotgun. They looked nervous and held their guns tightly. Hiss. Constantine lit a cigarette and looked at the little boy next to him. Are you scared? The little boy smiled brightly. I'm the future Hellblazer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support our channel.